Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. And I'm Mel. Kyle. We're here to play more Eldritch Horror. Welcome, welcome everybody. Hello. Thanks for joining live. Thanks to you watching later. Hello Larry, Kate, NJ Art. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, we're playing, we're playing against the Ancient One, uh, Mr. Shub, uh, tonight. Uh, we've given some comments on the last episode. We'll go over the, some of those uh, shortly before we get started. We already kind of like shuffled some decks. We picked our characters, got some setup stuff done already, but we'll go over some of it uh, when we get down to the table. Uh, I don't know about domination uh, over Shub Michael. I, I don't, I don't expect that. And also based on some comments we got, I don't, I don't expect that at all. Uh, our first play against them, and we're, we're totally understanding that. We're just gonna try our best. Well, he's talking about the other way around. We get dominated. Oh, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael could be taken either way. Yeah, he's taking over the world. Yeah, uh, pretty much what's happening. Yep. We'll just see if we can be like uh, road speed bumps for him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, slow him down. Slow him down a little bit. You know, just get in front of him. You know, just kind of let him. He has to like slow down to get over top of us, crunch us a little bit. Uh, hey Tim. Spooky. Uh, <laughs> not over by. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Uh let's do some. No, let's go over the comments. This will make more sense here. All right, so two here, they're like neck, back to back, but these ones kind of stuck with me and I'm like, oh, I gotta read these on stream. So um, Mr. Lobster Man says, dudes. I love that. The <laughs> dudes. <laughs> the first nine to 10 times we played this game, we lost. Since then, it's a 50-50 depending on an ancient one. It's a damn hard game to win, but it's still my favorite. Nice. Okay, so. Okay. We're joking half the time we're complaining and the rolling the dice and not winning and all that stuff. It's not always about the winning. And we know play enough of these type of games like Mansion of Madness, Arkham Horror, Arkham Horror Living Card Game. All these kind of games we expect that like, you know, the deck stacked in your favor. You're fighting against an ancient god and it's like cultists and minions and monsters and all that. Stuff that we're, we don't understand. So we're just like, we're just humans. But it is the FFG twist to it where we can supposedly shoot them with weapons and use spells and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little more like action movie versus like horror and just the bad guy was winning kind of thing. But uh, this game is hard and uh, so we should be okay not winning. It's just a game we're playing. It's it's fun. <laughs> uh, so that that's good. Uh, and then this one here, Alan, thank you, says, Oh boy, saw you're doing Shub next. Shub is hard. Just tried running myself and got wit. Bring a lot of good fighters. Maybe the character that's good in wilderness too. I don't know what that who that is or what that means. And if anyone watching live knows, please fill in, fill in. Uh, we're not we're not sure. At least one person in Tokyo to hit monsters anywhere. That we understand. Uh, you're going to need clues too. Mostly observation skill. So make sure that a person is good at that or getting clues on their own. Daisy question mark and maybe Charlie Kane Park. So we're using Charlie as a fourth shared character. So we're trying that tonight too. Uh just see how that works out as recommended by some others. Um Charlie basically parks on Tokyo and just gifts stuff out. So he's gonna be using his influence to get items, passing them out while he's encountering uh Tokyo to try to possibly defeat monsters if he's passing tests uh, on his encounters. Uh, gates will get out of hand, but a person with good lore slash will should focus on that. Uh, the reckoning effects on monsters in play can get quite hairy. Good luck, it's tough, and weapons and or spells are needed. So that's that's our uh, our coach's talk, our, our prep talk today, our game plan. Pre-game. Yeah, our pre-game <laughs> in the locker room. Like this is, thank you, Alan, for that, that talk. And yeah, team, go. <laughs> Uh, so we'll see what we can do. I mean, maybe we'll pull out a win with some of this advice. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't yeah, know, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So we'll continue set up here, I guess. <laughs> now, supposedly, D. Miller, there's like more monsters in this one. Like monsters are a big deal, but again, we are playing with the uh, the mystery cards 
also put in from that uh, the first mini expansion too. But the, I looked at some of them, and there are like ones to fight epic monsters like we've seen before. Um, there's other ones still fighting non-epic monsters, and then there there so uh, also on this um, uh, ancient one. He has this whole thing on his cultists where if the cultists are just chilling and you don't get rid of them fast enough, they have a reckoning effect where they spawn uh, a goat spawn or a one dark young monster on the space. Then if you spawn them, the cultist gets discarded, so they're like worse than a cultist, obviously. And it does have you set aside uh, a bunch of monsters, so I'm assuming those will have ways of coming in, like right here. Uh, so there is a reckoning effect on the ancient one, spawn one monster on a random space. Then if there are 10 or more monsters on the game board, advance Doom by 2. Hence, oh, hence why fighters, spells, and weapons are much, much more serious. Uh, also, we start on 13 Doom. Oh. So it's a little, little nuttier than usual. Um, and then when three mysteries have been solved, we win the game. Uh, if he awakens, we flip the card. And on the back is a whole thing where like uh, you basically spawn an epic version of him. Then you move all those type of monsters onto his space. So you have to like get through them to fight him and you need to like destroy him to win. But then there's this whole thing like each time Doom would advance, you spawn another monster on his space. Wow. And if there's six or more monsters on his space, including him, we lose. And then there's a reckoning effect. Each investigator on the space with him uh, immediately encounters it. So it's like you'll be fighting more. Like it, I don't even see us winning this at all if, if, that, if this flips. And then also the cultists uh, start moving towards his space. So you could have a space where he's just like loaded up with monsters. But again, if there's six monsters on his space, we lose. So we don't want to get to this point. But there, another reason why you need fighters and spells and weapons and things um, is what I'm understanding. So, uh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be nutty. Um, but yeah, let's do finish setup here. I just want to go over it. So have we placed the game board out already? Um, I think so. I think so. Uh, okay. Is this okay. the right one? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Looks Is there right. another side? Yeah. No, no. Oh, okay. No, no. That's in the expansions. You've got to pay for that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, for more boards. Uh, organize tokens. Yeah. You shuffle the gates. Uh, I did not. Uh, no. Blue pool. We have it in a bag. Place our investigators. Oh, who's going to be the lead investigator? We already picked investigators, so I'm gonna play with Lily Chen. <laughs> like, looking, you know, when the teacher is like, like the who's only gonna, game where Mel's like, read? "Can I go first? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's gonna read the thing uh, today?" I'll, I'll be the investigator. Wow. Sure. Right okay. out of the gate. Nice. So I'm playing with Lily Chen. Kyle's Kyle's rocking Mark Harrington. We saw last time, uh, or Harrigan. Sorry, uh, we got Charlie. We already talked about as our fourth player over there beside Mel, mm -hmm. and then Catchy. Okay. Kachi? I don't. I don't know. How I'm to not say. sure if that's what I can't say see it. it from here. Um. So yeah, that's what we're starting with. We already got our starting possessions, health, our sanity. For now. I just have to. Uh, we determine the ancient one. Uh, the monsters are in the bag as usual. No epic monsters are in there. I pulled out already, uh, based on the ancient one, I pulled out two goat spawns, two ghouls, and a dark young are already pulled out of the bag and set aside as on the monster setup. Um, I've already been shuffling the decks. Uh, expeditions. Oh yeah, expeditions. I'll just give this a little cut right here. Uh, so we're starting with this on Anguska, okay. And then spells, conditions. I shuffle this a ton before when I was setting it up, but go nuts, do whatever. Uh, set the mythos cards aside. So, okay. Build the Mythos deck. Okay, okay, okay. Mythos deck. Uh, pick a green. One green. Okay. Choose two yellows. Not those ones. Oh, no, God. Just I'm just okay. This is going to be the top of the deck. I'm doing it backwards by accident. Uh, pick one blue. A dirty rumor card. Okay. Shuffle those together. That's the top of the deck. Okay, uh, so now we'll do the bottom actually. Uh, so this is green, yep. Okay, yes, yeah, so remember that's the top. Okay, so pick two of these. Oh man. Yeah, this is stage three. So stressful. Four of these. Phone. The whole game is on me. Yep. Four. Four of them. All right, two there. Two 
screw over there. Okay, shuffle those together. That's the bottom of the deck. And then here, Mel pick three from here. Oh, this is the middle. And then two from here. Alright. And what do we got here? Blues. And one from here. Okay, shuffle those you can together. Shuffle that. That's the middle. Shuffle those together, plop them on top of that, and then that on top of that. These are gone. Okay. I'm gonna give those to you as well. These are our four items that we'll be putting out. I don't think you're in on that step yet, but when you get Oh yeah. Uh resolve starting effects. Place the reference card. Oh yeah, we have oh thank you. Okay. So again, we're playing four investigators today, but it's the exact same numbers we've been playing with the last couple episodes, because three is the same as four, so yeah. Which makes so no sense. It sucks uh, when everything's halved and rounded up. It's like, wait a second. Um, so yeah, that's what we're playing with. And uh, Doom's already been placed. It's a reference card that corresponds to the number of players in you know, the Mythos deck. Did that, yeah. Place the Omen token on the green comet. Done. Uh, top four cards of the asset deck. Here's our starting assets. Whiskey. You may discard this card to prevent an investigator in your space from losing two sanity. Private care. When you'd gain this card, immediately recover all health and sanity. Oh. Then discard this card. Uh, Vatican missionary. Gain plus one willpower. You may reroll one die while resolving a, a willpower test. An intelligence report. When you gain this card, immediately gain two clues. Then discard this card. Where uh, are the weapons? These are not terrible, though. Yeah, so where hopefully... are the weapons? We need weapons. I got a weapon. They're going to be next, hopefully. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> but hopefully Charlie can keep this, like, cycling, right? That'd be ideal. Uh, Tim says, good to catch you live since the pirate game. Pirate game. Pirate game. Luckily, on a late night... Possible friend taxi calls so I can watch you mostly, hopefully, mostly all this. Uh -huh. If not, I will pause and watch from when I left. That's cool. <laughs> What's the pirate so game? It, it's late for you right now, right? Five hours ahead. So you are, it's like uh, like almost midnight, right? Oh. You're going to have a sitting up, sitting up late? We'll see. We'll see. Pirate game. Is that like Sleeping Gods? Yeah, or... which pirate game, Tim? And it was a game that I also played. I should know this. Was it me and Rob, or just Rob? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Stacey. God is my guess, but I'm not sure. Hello, C. Mitch. Hi. Jacko's here. Very nice. Uh... Jacko said that he's feeling like tonight is the night. Pan Panagiotis, I I'm sorry if I'm saying that completely wrong, uh, says hi to all. Oh, bumped. Uh, hi to all. I started watching the other two, uh, other two live you did, but I couldn't finish even the first one. What happened? And what was the poll result? Uh, I don't remember, and we don't want to spoil it. Yeah. In case anyone's watching this out of order, because then they can watch that later, too. Uh, C. Mitch, thank you for gifting five memberships to the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Very sweet. Yeah, thank it's you, all downhill you. from here. Thank you so much. Oh, maybe it was Jaws? Oh, it was the same time, I think. Uh, the, oh, the, Jaws. Oh. Mm, Jaws, sorry. Pirates. Ah, uh, yeah. We oh, put the pirates, okay. I get it. Yeah. There's the boat. There's the boat. And... I get it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think. And water. It was yeah. like a game. Like, I want to know which game because I, I couldn't think of it. I I'm like, hmm. I couldn't either. Let's play a game. But it gave us clues. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's boat and sharks. So instantly pirate game. <laughs> That's all good. We got there. We got there. <laughs> Thank you so um, much, Simon. I was going to say, though, for the poll that we did, which was like, like it, love it, whatever, I think the like it or the love it, one of those two was the winner. Or was it the poll at the end where we decided, like, which ancient one we're going to face last time? No, I think they, the put the, they put the poll they were talking about, but oh, I just couldn't yeah. remember exactly. I don't know. Oh, oh see, Mitch, love that. It says, more forced memberships yes. for October. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, what's in the bottle, Rob? Uh, just, just water. This is water. Stacy knows it's not water. Yeah, it's water. It's <laughs> what I have to do to play this game. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's just a moose head. 
Not sponsored. <laughs> Lies. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Daisy knows. <laughs> it's a Moosehead Canadian Lager. Oh. Established 1867. I don't know. And then bought out. Few times, yeah, yeah, <laughs> formerly now been rebranded, yeah, but... now probably owned by a Brazilian or Mexican company. <laughs> yep, how it works. Uh, all right, uh, I, oh, oh I got a sponsor, Clues? gates, and clues, yeah, yeah, small no, number of gates, gates indicated on the reference uh, card. One, one gate, one don't, gate. Don't need that. Shanghai, uh, and if you want to spawn a monster on there, oh, right where Lily is. And then... We did the act of expedition already. Spawn number of clues. Uh, two clues. Arkham. Is a vampire. Finally, draw one mystery card. All right. One. Okay. Mel, you can, can pick our it. first mystery card. This one, I feel good about that. One. There's one in there I read that I was like, "Oh God, please not that one." Oh gosh, please. I'll, t one. I'll tell you if it's it, and then we can quit. Uh, no, I don't think that's it. Okay. But this could still oh, suck. Is this why we needed a wilderness? All right. Nature of the All Mother. Chub naturally corrupts all life that encounters her. Oh, it's a female. Oh, this all her. makes sense now. Oh, hey, now. Uh, everywhere her worshippers <laughs> are found, all living things grow more vicious and feral. Uh, when this card enters play, move each clue on the game board to the nearest wilderness space. Oh, no, that's clues? you. Well, yeah, that one was up. Yeah, uh, I don't know where that one goes. Uh, near, goes I think way. it's this one, or, sure. or that. Can we put them together? No. One, uh, two. one, two, yeah. That's the same. I mean, I guess we could. But I think it's, it's better to have them split, maybe. Because that's a spot you don't want to be hanging out in, I think, at nine. Yeah. Okay. It's more interesting to have them at separate anyway, but... But maybe we do need all the help we can get. Just put them on somewhere where somebody can work on them together. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. After an investigator resolves a research encounter, so that's doing an encounter against a clue. People there too. He may spend, uh... Oh yeah, you can put it on the pyramids yeah. if you want. Oh, okay, sure, let's put it there. Is that where you want to go? Like, uh, that, well, this is only one space away from me. Come on, man, we need whatever help we can get. Yeah, put let's it put wherever. it there. Yeah, that's yeah. one away from me, because if that's all I have right now... Every little advantage we can have, please, please do it. Yeah. Manipulate what you can. Wait. You didn't move this one up? Oh, okay. I did. It was on. It's right on Arkham. Okay. Shit. Overanalyzing. <laughs> oh, it all will come down to this. Yep. We'll be looking later. Like, remember that one time we couldn't reach the clue if we just got one clue faster? Uh, after an investigator resolves a research encounter, he may spend one clue he gained from that encounter and place that clue on this card. At the end of the Mythos phase, if there are clues on it equal to investigators, so in our case, four now, so it is it's not half or anything it's it's actually a little tougher um but four clues we need to solve this mystery scooby-doo so that's what we're working okay. on so no monster fighting for this one but again reckoning effect we'll have monsters all over the place and uh yeah we'll see okay we will see okay uh and i think that's it yeah we can start so uh where am i i'm here yeah with a vampire oh the vampire all right um that just stops me from resting, which I don't need to do. Yeah, I could just fight this guy. I try to close this gate. Uh, maybe. But. Yeah, really, I'm kind of far from clue gathering, which just seems to be an important thing. But maybe you guys can deal with that. Yeah, we can definitely go for this one. What was this again for relics, right? That's what the thing was. Yeah, yeah we need yeah. to do that. I, th I think it can give you clues, relics, yeah, artifacts. Do a bunch of good stuff, yeah, I'm sure. I was thinking of going that way. Oh, yeah. Getting things from it there and cycling that to find weapons. What's this guy's deal? Vampire. Oh, yeah. Where is he? Oh, he's there in the, in the rotation. Okay. Oh, God. It heals. Okay. Um, how about. How about. I'll take a focus token and I mean, I could try to get an item. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, I only roll two dice. There is twos and ones. But if I don't get one, I can at least discard something so we can start cycling that. Yep. Okay, so I'm in a city, so I'll try the whole, uh, what's it called? Uh, acquire assets. Uh, so I got one. You could get the whiskey. If that's the only option, I'll take it. Okay. okay. Adding our next card. Trying to cycle. A witch doctor. Investigators on your space may recover one additional health or discard a curse condition when performing a rest action. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm done. Um, I can get a travel ticket there, right? Uh, Is this the city? Yep. yep. Oh, you can only get a train. Yeah, because there's yeah. no water spaces. We can get a Okay, yep. so yeah, as long as the city space. Yeah, I'm, okay, so we'll get that, and then I'll travel, and then spend the train ticket, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's all above board kit. Yep, yep. legit. Seems, seems legit, yep. Okay, Charlie. Oh, Charlie is going to Charlie. do this, abil uh, gain, acquire assets ability. He rolls five dice. Kyle, you can roll, though. Three, four, five. Yep, we'll <laughs> use that. Five. That many, who knows where they'll go. Uh, two. two, and you can re-roll one, right? Uh, yes, you may re-roll one, one die when rolling an influence test. You can re-roll one. Okay, two. You had to say one. So what are you guys thinking he should grab? I think he should get, out? I think he should get this one, um, and give this oh, one yeah, yeah. to somebody that's going to be doing willpower tests. Um, she hopefully will be closing gates. She has a four willpower. I don't know if somebody has... Like a three, maybe. I gain plus one willpower during combat encounters, so I'm kind of like a four in fighting. But I would give it to whoever's closing gates. Like that's going to be hopefully her because she can jump yeah, between gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and then replace it. replace it. Big gun. Big gun. With big gun. Tear gas. You may discard this card to reroll up to two dice when resolving a combat test. No, we're resolving a strength, strength test during a combat encounter. In okay. addition, reduce the monster's damage by two to a minimum of one. So this is good for you. Uh, or Kyle, or, the yeah. fighter. Or, or this fighting. one, mm -hmm. this one's good too, but this lets you recover all your health and sanity for two when you get it. So yeah. I don't think that's good. No, for no, we'll just leave that there in case. And then I think, I think we just start moving yeah. him towards Tokyo. So we move him here, and then next turn he can land on Tokyo, and then um, do that again. Okay, and then me. Do you want him on a sea, or like, should he like where do you want his encounter to be? Because you could just take a boat ticket, and then if you want to be in a city. With the, I don't know what San Francisco does. It improves his uh, observation. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm thinking if he moves here, then next round he can move I know, I, know. I, I see what you're saying, but you have options. What do you want him to encounter? San Francisco or yeah. the middle of the ocean? He can still move it if you just stay there and get a... Yeah, take a ticket. Oh, so oh, if you take a, a ticket, ticket, next turn he could still get to Tokyo. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's just, what do you want him to encounter? If you want him to encounter a C, go nuts. I'm just I asking the question. I don't know. Because you could do either or and still get him here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave him there. And then I am going to move... Oh no, before I move, I'm going to take... I'm going to take a focus token. And then I'm going to move to here. Okay. Uh, Disneyland Life with the super chat says, still think you should add the resources rules from the last expansion. I don't know what that means. We don't own the last expansion, I'm not sure. Uh, makes assets cheaper per resource and when rest, get an extra health or sanity per resource. Last of all, it's nice for last action. Huh. That's cool. I mean, we don't have that expansion to know those rules, but so they just add as like a like a line in the rule book that says like you play all games with this rule from now on, or like is it a just an option to make the game easier? Yeah, I've, I've never heard that one. Yeah, and if you left a comment saying that, I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, I didn't see it, but. Or maybe I did. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, I did not see this one. No, I didn't see it, actually. Oh, here. Okay, hold on. I did not scroll down and see that there was another new one. Uh, I'm assuming that's what you mean. If you do play again, add in the resource mechanic from Mask of Niarlathotep. 
You don't need to buy the game to add it into your game. I have seen others do add it to their game without owning it. Uh, it's like the focus as an action. Get a resource token. Uh, max to like all token. Oh, so it's a new token. I see. Uh, you can trade one token for an additional success when acquiring assets or when you rest to gain extra health or sanity. Look into oh. it. It has saved me in the past. I use it in all my games. Oh, that's cool then. I like that. If it's a token, so it's an action, and then you can use it for a variety of things. All right. Where were you when I was buying expansions just to get those focus tokens before? I would have bought this one too. No, I'm just joking. Thank you so <laughs> much as well for the super chat. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the super chat. You could have just said, hey, <laughs> you missed my comments. Yeah. <laughs> but I do appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's too late for that now, but I do like that idea, actually. Man, well, why didn't anyone say that one? Only one people told us about was the focus token thing. But when we bought it, was that available? Yeah, that, oh. there's been nothing new for this game out for years, I don't think. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Hmm. We could have just used whatever token and be like, I'm this sure is we... a resource token. But I'm sure we have a resource token. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time we play, we'll do that, actually. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, next year, if that. <laughs> yeah, so can you remind us next yeah, year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Well, let's see, because we've added the fourth character. Let's just see if that balances it out better for us. Well, so far, this thing is not helping because it's not one that says half, yeah. you know, rounded, yeah, yeah, yeah. rounded up or whatever. True. Uh, but we'll see. All right, so encounters for Rob. Uh, okay, uh, so I have fight. to fight the monster. Uh, so I'm rolling four dice. And it's, he's got a one. It says if I fail that test, though, I don't resolve the strength test. All right. So I passed that one. Uh, now it's strength minus two. And I will re-roll once per round resolving a test off my lucky rabbit's foot. So I'm just rolling two. Uh, yeah. It's not good. Oh, oh. Wow. So I got two. Uh, so it's not dead, though, because he has three. And it says if you lose health from the strength test, this monster is not defeated. It recovers two health. So he could heal that up next round. What's um, his health though? Three. three. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I couldn't kill him. It's like impossible, so I just had to start it. Well, yeah, I could go over there and kill him right away, but I can't get there. That's okay. I'm Actually, there I, could. Already. I could. Okay, um, done my encounter. You're encountering this thing? Yep. I think this is an action to do, so I don't think you'd be okay. I know. No, I, oh yeah, because I'd have to yeah. get a ticket. Yeah. I thought I still had mine. Uh, Tunguska, a small piece of stone you were standing on crumbles away, revealing a hollowed out chamber beneath you. You look for a safe way to get inside. Test observation. Uh, no way to hold that up. Nope. No rerolls or anything? Nothing. Nothing, eh? Uh, okay, so the bottom part says the ground beneath your feet collapses and you scramble to avoid being trapped. Strength minus one. Oh, no. um, if you fail, a boulder falls on you. Gain a back in back injury condition. Great. So what I see is you shouldn't go on these unless you feel prepared for them. There you go, my friend. I wasn't expecting observation. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not a first encounter type of deal. I mean, uh, so the next one is the one with this back on it. Right. All righty. <laughs> now we learned something. Uh, Charlie? Charlie, Charlie is going to do the D. Charlie. <laughs> San Francisco, a private investigator prepares you, uh, you to help him on a case. Improve your observation. Improve observation. Okay, he's looking for a strangely shaped skull that's gone missing after being recovered from a fire. Your investigation reveals Atlantean symbols, including the one for resurrection. Test lore minus one. Lore minus one is one. Love that for him. No. If you fail, you do not notice the symbol for curse. Gain a cursed condition. <laughs> Why do we play this game? I know, I'm telling you. 
I should read Dustin's comment though too. I remember <laughs> this one. Oh, only it just reminds me as Mel's mumbling under her breath how she hates this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dustin says, as much as I personally love the game, I can see Rob isn't a fan. Kyle seems neutral, and Mel likes everything. As Mel just mumbles, I don't know why I play this game. My opinion is, I'd rather see you guys uh, play games you all enjoy for October, like Horrified, Last Friday, Manage the Madness, Arkham 3rd Edition, etc. Nope, we're changing it up this year. Changing it up. We're getting Elder Swore, giving it a fair shake, and yeah. then we burn it after this month. I mean, uh, we'll play different <laughs> things. <laughs> It's funny. I do actually like this game. It frustrates me to no end, but at the end, I'm like, oh my gosh, we almost had it. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Um, and then me, I'm just going to try for this clue here. I'm doing okay. research, so if I get it, I can do this. Here we go. Uh, you're where? Wilderness. The hooded figure hands you a chalice, but you are suspicious of its contents. Observation minus one. Oh, good thing. Oh, good thing I only have one. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's a different person. Yeah. I have a focus. Um, I will spend it. I got it. Okay. I if you pass, you pour the foul substance on the ground and study the effect. Gain this clue and one additional clue. Oh. Okay, so I'll put this clue on there. Is that what I have to do for this? Uh, the one I gained. After investigator resolved a research counter, he may spend one clue he gained from this counter, place the clue on this card. We're trying to get four on here. All right, this is my second one. Uh, okay. That's good. Hopefully I can bank these for whatever the next thing is then. Okay. That's that. That's like Mythos, one. yep. Mythos. All right. I'm going to rotate the, the fun clock. Uh, right, reckoning. Oh, God. Uh, this guy doesn't have one. Uh, then we go ancient one. Yep. So spawn one monster on a random space. So you need to draw a clue token, uh, to find out a random space and yep. discard it. You want to spawn the monster, Kyle? And then... On 15. Then if there's 10 or more monsters on the game board, advance doom by two. He's a zombie. We don't do his reckoning. When no. Comes no. Out, right? okay. Well, what is it, though? It can leave is. Down, whatever. Spawn the zombie horde epic monster on this space if you do discard this monster. Oh, keepers. Another important monster to get rid of. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we spawn a gate. Spawn a gate. Which will spawn a monster on the gate. London. Oh. Amigo. Discard the nearest clue and move the monster to that space. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's the reckoning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's from bad to worse. Each of us here lose one health for each injury condition he has. Oh, I'm so sorry. First, I have to do this curse condition. Uh, roll one die. Oh, you have a reckoning effect. Yep, yeah, sorry, oh, sorry, I forgot. You have one too. Oh, I thought we were going. That was next. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Four, I didn't realize five, you had six, have already. Discard this card. Nope. Mm -hmm. Test strength. This four. Okay, I'll flip this card. No, you passed. Oh, look at all those. That's a good roll that you just wasted. <laughs> <laughs> that I wasted. This one's the bank them. Oh, so you need to, yeah. you need to rest up know, your back I injury. I see, I oh, see. But you haven't lost any health, have you? Mm -mm. Oh. Just now. Oh, okay. I did, so, yeah. Okay, so now back to this. Each of us loses one health for each injury condition he has, so you just lost one. Yeah. Then lose one sanity for each madness condition he has. And discards one clue for each deal condition he has. Terrible. Well, it's good that it came up early because okay. later in the game we all have a bunch of those that there could really is. hurt. But I think that one's not bad. Uh, who wants to be lead? Uh, I could just stay lead. It doesn't matter. I don't think Charlie said he wanted to lead. Charlie wants to want lose Charlie. Yeah, but shouldn't he? Oh, I know. But then oh, he, he, he gets... can hand out stuff first. Yeah. I don't know if that's better, but then he's also more yeah, rich because he's first. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, we hopefully they keep this him. Time and see what happens. We keep him good to go. Okay, let's actually then just do the uh, test here, influence test. So Kyle, you can roll five dice. You did you did good last time. Yeah, last, oh, 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 that counts. Oh, that's one. Yeah, yep. yeah. Two, two, and you can reroll one. What do I have to get? Three. 
No. Uh, oh, five uh, or six. All right, all right, right now. Okay, three. Yeah. Three yeah, yeah. money to spend. Um, so we could gain this. Uh, when you gain this card, immediately gain two clues. The witch doctor could be helpful. Investigators on your space may recover one additional health or discard a curse condition. Uh, or. Remember, Does you can deal that out to whoever. Yeah. So oh. you, you could get rid of that curse you have, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'd say take as but, many items oh, as you Oh, only sixes count for him. So none of those count. What? Because he's cursed. Oh. Yeah, so actually none of those count. Oh. So never mind that. Take so you failed. Out. So just get rid of one item and then cycle. Like discard one thing from there that we don't think we'll need ever. Just to see some new stuff. Maybe this intelligence report. Ouch. Ouch? Okay, no. <laughs> well, we want this. Really Maybe this private uh, private care, what? the one that heals you back full. Yeah, whatever. Oh no. Okay, no, the witch doctor. Witch doctor. I don't know. Just get rid of something, please. Witch doctor is gone. Just they're cycling. Who cares? Oh, four. Uh, urban guy. Well, that one's great until you get a card that tells you if you have an ally, you're dead. If you're on a city space, investigators on your space roll one additional die when resolving tests, except when resolving other world encounters. Okay, that's a four as well. I need to get rid of this curse. Okay, and then he's going to mm -hmm. move one and then spend this boat token to go over there. Okay. He's done. Um, I need to get to that gate. Can I? I thought you going to fight this monster. Which one? This one or the monster at the gate? This one. Okay. Well, closing uh, gates are always good. Also, yeah, you're on that one. going for clues because uh, there's only one clue on the board right now. That's kind of important for now, but because we need four total here. Yeah. Um, Don't have uh The closing gates also prevents a doom from flying down, so that's always the right answer. Yeah, I can't get there this turn, though. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But do I go that way? I don't know. Who is... You. You got that. You're closest. Like, yeah. maybe Charlie gets rid of a monster. So we'll see, but... Maybe we take the chances that he gets rid of that one, and I can go start doing this. Oh, no, we'd probably get rid of... Oh, yeah, maybe this one, because... It... I don't know, they both do bad things when the reckoning happens, right? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that guy will gobble that clue up. So, and he'll be, if he's eating all our clues, we're going to be on this one for a really long time. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, and then I will take a, I think I take a train or something. So, no, I'll take a boat so that hopefully I can get back around quicker. Okay. Augusta sucks. So far away from everything. <laughs> I know. My turn. I shouldn't have gone that way. <laughs> uh, but you never know. Like we could spawn clues that are like right beside you. I know. You it's just second. like so many hops. No matter yeah, which yeah. way I go, mm -hmm. but go somewhere where you like can improve a skill or something. Yeah. You know. Oh, I wanted to go. Mm. You could go that way and come back across. Uh, like that might. I don't know if that's faster. No, it's not. One, two. All right. I will. Let's try an influence. Same thing as last time. Uh, I got two. What can I buy for two? Uh, you likely want the tear gas, right? It's only one, but the private care just lets you heal the full. Okay. And then we can replace them. You still have one, I think, right? I don't think it replaces right away, though. Oh, but... 45 Oh, there we go. Oh, this is what you want. This Dang it. For. But it's there now, so that's good. Okay, so maybe Charlie can get it and pass it over yep. to somebody who's fighting. Let's get rid of this curse condition. Okay, uh, and a focus token. Nice. Where can I rest? Anywhere? Anywhere. Uh, anywhere Without no a monster. monster. Yep. Get... Maybe only cities. Is it only cities? No, I think you can rest no anywhere monster? no monster. Oh, okay. Doesn't say on there. Yeah, okay. Um... He's rolling his thing scale. I'll move here. Yeah, level up your guy before he dies. Hey now. <laughs> yeah, I'll rest. I'll rest. You have to have confidence. Yeah, but if you level them up, it's less chance they do die. <laughs> you like they can handle things better. Yeah, I'm resting, so I get one health back. And then, oh, and then you're doing your back injury. Yeah, I, I hopefully I get a five or six. Or Great. well, that's not a five or six. You didn't get those focus kind of tokens game. for those re-rolls, my friend. I know. Jeez, yeah, have to try to go through it anyways. Then you roll a two. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. You're done? Is that all That's of us? That's all of us, yep. 
counters? Uh, Charlie, yep, in Tokyo. An old sailor struggles to remember a chant he once used to drive off a... in 1923. As he mumbles, you try to identify the phrases. Uh, test lower minus two. Zero, but I get to still roll one. Okay, so maybe he's not the best at the game. Oh, he got it. Great. If you pass, you recognize the Vach Virage incantation. One monster of your choice in any space loses two health. I think we choose this one, right? Sure. Yeah. That Wait. Well, this and then no. gone, well, and then you can do this? Because Rob can I'll probably do one it. damage, oh. and then hopefully... And then Maybe. Then you'll do the gate right after? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. And yeah. this just gets us right off the board, so you can put yeah, that back in. That. In the bag. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, the bag over here. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Just <laughs> the uh, I will do... Uh, Rome City Encounter. Let's see if I can improve my willpower. That'd be nice. Uh, which cult must have used this villa to conduct their rituals? They've left behind a number of small potions. You may drink one to improve one skill of your choice. If you improve a skill, you must resist the ill effects of the elixir. That's willpower. So, improve a skill of your choice if you want. Like okay. Willpower? But if you don't, you do yeah, yeah. You'll gain yeah, a curse condition. Yeah, I do want willpower, I think. Or do I want... My willpower is already four. I can do any one I want, right? Yeah. Uh, so maybe I do lore's three. Maybe I do observation. Okay. And then I have to do hoping I don't get a curse condition. Four. I got it. I pass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Successful. Uh, who's next? You. Me? Uh, oh, I right. actually rolled one after that. I didn't. Okay, I'm fighting this monster. So, four dice on a willpower. Looking for one. Got it. And then we're fighting. Two dice. Looking for one success. Nope. I can reroll one die per round. Lucky rabbit's foot. I'll focus token. I'll focus token. Oh my god. I guess I'll spend this tear gas. Uh, you may discard this card to reroll up to two dice from resolving a uh, strength test during a combat encounter. Discarded. Okay. Dead. Yeah, I just didn't want this guy healing because if I didn't succeed, I'd get hit and then uh, he would be full health and I'd be sitting there like back to square one. That's annoying. So he's back in the bag. Uh, now I can encounter. Hmm. Yeah, the gate, I guess, but I don't know if I'm the one for this, but we'll try. Uh, willpower, so three dice. Got it. And then uh, lore, two dice. Oh, you got, got it. it. If you pass, return to your own time. Close this gate. Okay. Nice. That's a good start. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm done mine. Me? Yeah, uh, I think so. I'm in the city. Regular generic old city? Yep. Uh, the police report that people are being abducted by a monster dwelling in the sewer system. Wandering through the underground tunnels, you're suddenly attacked by a deep one. Strength. <laughs> this is this a combat encounter? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, if you pass, you defeat the creature and rescue the hostage. Gain one random ally asset from the deck. So mm -hmm. just start drawing until you find the first ally and give it to Kyle. Allies are all good. Cat burglar. Action roll one die on a five or six. Gain one item or trinket. Oh. From the reserve. On a one, discard. Item. The only item currently That's in the nice. reserve is the 45 automatic. Not a bad uh, thing. Uh, but you already have a gun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a son of a vampire. Who knew? <laughs> uh, okay. That's uh, all of us. That is all of us, yeah. 
All right, we rotate this. Are there any red gates? No, nope, you just oh, it. that's right. Yeah. Uh, reckoning garbage. Uh, okay, monsters. There is one here. Wait, I think it's the clue, right? Uh, discard the nearest clue. Move this monster to that space. Oh, son of a gun! I told you. I know, uh, ancient one. Spawn one monster on a random space. Random space is Buenos Aires. Oh, it's, uh, oh, he's got a. Oh, you got two. This one. Cultist. Cultist. So when that reckoning effect fires off, it could replace itself with an, a worse monster. Mm -hmm. Uh, then. Mythos cards. None oh, yet. sorry, I have one. Possessions and conditions are next. I have one. Oh, one, one die. Can I do it now? Yeah, go. Cool. On oh, four, yeah. five, or six, discard this card. Yes, I'm no longer cursed. Strength four. I'll just flip this. Card. Oh, I failed. <laughs> okay, uh, let's what's it do? Oh, well. Muscle spasms. Your hand begins to shake uncontrollably, uncontrollably, breaking whatever you are holding. Your whole body is overcome by tremors. Discard one item possession and become delayed. Then discard this card. You have two to choose from. And at least you can't become delayed. Or you can choose become... not to become delayed. Oh. Yeah, let's just what's pick two? one to get rid of. She's got, oh, uh, I guess yeah, yeah. consistent two is better than that. Okay, and then we need to spawn a gate. Let's spawn a gate. Kyle, if you grab a monster, San Francisco. One monster this time, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, just one. <laughs> just one. <laughs> Where is it over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Maniac, you found. Okay, and then each of us here lose two health and two sanity unless he discards a blessed condition. No, I don't know. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be lead investigator here? Um, can we keep it as um, yep. Charlie? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, it doesn't matter now, actually, because I'm going to go to London, but I was going to hope he would defeat the possible monster there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's just keep it anyways. Uh, sure. Maybe not. He only has two health. Oh, he can rest. That's fine. Okay, he'll go first. I think you rest if you're, you guys are fine yeah, with yeah. that. Three. Yep, keep him alive, man. And get him to buy some items for his people. Oh, I don't think I did this correctly. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay. And then he'll try the test. So, Kyle, if you want to roll five dice. And now it can and be fives or sixes? Yes. He's no longer cursed. All right. He's got more buying power again. You can reroll one. So, we got one. We need the gun for somebody. Five. Okay, somebody can have the gun. You, Rob, right? I don't think you have one. Uh, Do you have a gun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. a 38, though. Okay. Kinda... Oh, well, I mean, sorry. sorry. You guys can switch right. if you want. And then uh, we're replacing. Uh, no, too with... far away from each other. It's too bad. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> Sanctuary of service. When you gain this card, you may immediately discard one condition, then discard this card. Okay. Mm. Cool. Uh, Charlie's done. I'm going to. Need an item or a trinket up Go there. Go here chance. and gain a focus so I can try to close this gate. Okay, done. No, do I take health instead? Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm actually going to rest instead. I'll just go to Rome. That's my plan. Usually, Istanbul is probably better for me. My turn. Yep. I want to take a boat ticket. I'm gonna travel. I went the boat, pick it, and there I'm dead. Go ahead. Um, yeah, sure. I'll travel and then get a probably a train. Has to be a train at that location. Oh yeah, that's it. No choice for you. All right. All right counter time. Yep. Charlie is going to do Tokyo. Uh, the university allows you to access the Jigoku Zoshi, the scroll of the hells. You scour the text for a specific enchantment. Lore minus one. One again. Nope. All right. Uh, if you fail, the horrible descriptions overpower your senses, lose two sanity. That sucks. Yeah. 
So what are these tests that he's doing here? This was lore minus one. Same, another one was as well. I don't think yeah, he's so the right maybe, guy for this. Or I gotta somehow get his lore up. Uh, right here, this location improves lore. Okay, so maybe we do that first. Yeah. Because this is not working. Well, it did last time. He did get it. Oh yeah, it very lucky on one die though. Uh, okay. okay, so then I will try to close this gate. What was on that one? Uh, the Dilath Di Lean, a suspicious uh, looking thug in a dark robe, offers you his help. However, he warns you that he's a fugitive being hunted by the prince's agents and will require your protection. Strength minus two. So, one. Got it. Uh, you defend the man from his assailants and he gratefully invites you uh, aboard his galley to return to the waking world. Close this gate. As you speak to him, he is clear he knows many forgotten truths. You may become delayed to improve your lore. Mm, I um, don't know. Oh. Um. Sure. Sure. Um. And then I'm going to do my passive, which is when you close the gate during an other world encounter, you may move to a space containing a clue or a gate. Now you're delayed, you said. And I'm right? delayed, yeah. Okay. Actually, oh, yeah, he's only one. Uh, who's that? You, me? You improving your strength? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'm trying. <laughs> Sydney, a young Aboriginal uh, football player named Douglas offers to teach you how to play. You may become delayed to train with him. If you become delayed, improve your strength. Sure. And then uh, Lily says, when you improve a skill, you may immediately improve that skill again. Plus two. I now am six on my strength. Yes. Three. Boom. Yes. Uh, I'm in Istanbul. Istanbul? As you sleep, your path to the dreamlands is blocked by nightmarish visions. Test willpower minus one. Yes. If you pass, you dream of living out your entire life. Improve one skill of your choice. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Any one skill. I mean, my lore is low, but influence. Influence could help you yeah. get items. I know. That's I went there for influence. influence? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That makes sense. There you go. That's all of us. Yep. yep. All right, so we're moving the little clock. Blue gates. No, I think I just closed it. Yeah, you did. Yep. Very nice. Okay, we're into spawn uh, a couple monsters at blue gates, but because there's not, you got to spawn a gate, right? Um. I think that's how that works. Monster surging. You would spawn two gate. monsters at each. Spawn one gate. Yep. Yeah. Tokyo. Oh, hello. Oh no. And then we spawn a monster on that gate. Perfect. And now spawn two clues. And two clues. Two. What monster did you get? If there's a investigator on this space, move him. And this monster one space, he becomes delayed. Otherwise, move this monster two space toward the nearest investigator. Well, I think the second part of your... Night Gaunt. Just... So he's got a monster with him. That's not good. Well, just keep reading. Well, let's... We're done the clues. You spawn yep. two clues? Yep. Where did you one spawn them? One here and one into the Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, blood flows. The lead investigator discards one monster of his choice and loses its health equal to his toughness. Uh, so Charlie, you decide. What's his toughness? Which is all of us. <laughs> the toughness is either one on this guy or two on that guy. He's a low health investigator, so, uh, I would I mean, be very if we, careful. If we take it off his delay. space, we can then just have him rest. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Bam. Okay, this guy's back in my... He could also possibly get this to recover his health back with this card. Mm. We're lucky. Yeah, okay. You can just rest too. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's only one. So hopefully I can get that guy. Uh, okay. Who's lead investigator now? Uh, not Charlie. Um. Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, I will. Mm, Heck of a turn. Up. I know that was a good turn, eh? I'm gonna stand up. Um, pass. <laughs> yeah. This will be a quick one, I think. Um, I have a train ticket, so I can. Yes. Here, yes, even though I don't like Tangusta. <laughs> Bad memories there. Okay. Yeah. Charlie. Charlie is going to rest, Wait, and then. Only... 
Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, that was only oh, one oh, action. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, I didn't like get a train ticket on the same turn. Oh. No, <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna get another train ticket to get out. Yeah. <laughs> so you would have had to get it there before you left, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can cool. put that in the hat. Yeah, because you can hold up to two anyway. Okay, Charlie's gonna rest for his first action, and then he will do the uh, test here for five dice. Five dice? Influence test. Me? Oh, yep. oh man. What am, I, am I allowed to get fives? He's shopping yep. again. Yep. Okay. So you know for a roll. And you can reroll one. Cool. We got two. two. That's two. good. Two. Does anyone have a condition they need to discard? No. No? Okay, it's maybe he just takes this one and heals back. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It, we gotta get and then it clears. Something. I don't yeah. want to take a debt, but... I don't think uh, so. Yeah. When you gain this card, immediately recover all health and sanity and then discard this card. He's just going to do it. So he'll go to four. And Can an item or a trinket, please? Eight. Yeah, yeah. Eight. <laughs> Want something Replacing good for free? Replacing it with... Puzzle box a trinket. A trinket. Oh, nice. When you perform a rest action, you may attempt to open the puzzle box with an observation minus two. If you pass, you may discard this to gain one artifact. That's good. <gasps> That's What's good. in the box? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Okay. Uh, he's done. And then my turn, I'm just going to stand up. All right. Encounters. Uh, oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll just do a random city one. It could be an any stat one. You never know. Yeah, I don't trust that. <laughs> I don't know because I can only go up. To, I'm already at my yes, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you make sure no one is watching before sneaking out of the shop with your stolen goods. Test observation. Uh oh. Uh. So let's see. If you fail, you're caught by the store owner and arrested. Gain a detained condition. Oh, that's great. Oh, I can reroll once. Actually, uh, I'll reroll it here. Yeah. You got it. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I keep forgetting my lucky rabbit foot. Uh, okay, so if I pass, I gain one item asset from the reserve, or one random item asset from the deck. So there's no items, so, so random, random it, is. it is. Better than an oh, pain condition. You get that one. First one was an item. Looks good to me at first glance. Spirit dagger. Item, magical weapon. Gain plus one willpower and plus two strength during combat encounters. Actually, that, is that better than your gun? Uh, well, the gun's plus three strength. Oh. It really, I already have a plus one willpower here, but... It depends what the monster's doing. I can choose which yeah. item to kind of use. That's good. Uh, yeah. How do you know your strength is max? What? Because uh, you're only allowed to plus two on any stat oh, with an improvement token. I see, I see. And then use items to buff it further. Higher, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, that's me. I'm going to do a clue. clue. And you are in a wilderness. The last person to ask about cults died out here. When you reach the spot indicated by the police, you find his remains. Gain this clue, then spawn a dark young monster, not an old one, on your space and encounter it. If you defeat the monster, gain one additional clue. Dark young. So this clue. So gain that clue, and you can put it right here. Yeah. Beautiful. That's separate. Yep. Does this count now as like another? No, because it says only one when you're resolving a research encounter, which is all part of it, it, it says one there yeah. for that reason. So I think the Dark Young might be... I got it, I got oh, it. Oh, you got that it. That was one of the ones they set aside oh, okay. for this kind of shenanigans. So a Dark One is going to spawn there. Uh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 There's wow. There's something wow. to do, I guess. So this guy will advance Doom on a one or two with Reckoning if we don't oh. get rid of him. Am I encountering it right Where now? Where are you? Right no. here. I thought it said encounter it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, gain the clue. And then spawn it at your space and encounter it. Oh, so you can fight it. If you defeat it, gain additional clue, but wow, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen. that's a tough guy. So you're going to roll your willpower stat minus one. Three. Uh, two, so you lose one sanity. Oh, man. Oh, yep, no. terrible. You're almost gone. And then you're rolling strength minus three. And this is a combat encounter. Yeah, so you get so that. Strength minus three. Plus so you're rolling one, three dice, um, I think, right? Plus two, yeah. So you hit it for two, but he's a three, so you're losing one health. And put two damage on him. 
So you didn't defeat it, so you don't gain additional clue, but I mean, like, yeah, that's, that's uh, like, uh, that would be hard to happen, yeah. Well, it's, I'm that would be weird the... with your crazy strength. Maybe. Yeah, or if you had the kerosene. I don't know about hitting it five times, like, in one shot. I had the kerosene, but yeah. I had to give it up. Oh. Right that would have been good. Okay. okay. That um, was. That was that. Uh, Charlie is going to. Did Tokyo? he do the gate? Or does he. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe he does a Tokyo, and then she hopefully fights the monster, beats the gate, and comes over there. Oh, you're going to try and do the monster and just get rid of the one on my space? Yep. I don't know. It depends on if it's like a full monster or if it's just damage. Uh, yeah, let's defeat the monster, because we have a second for blue. Uh, you're placed on trial for violating the peace protection laws. Test influence. Yes, with his five. Jam. One, two, three, four, five. He got it anyways. That was. Uh, if you pass, you prove your innocence, and the government takes immediate action. Discard all monsters with one toughness from the game board. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Nope. That one helps me get that. That's that one. Huh? Oh, that's a cultist. Is yeah, he that's one? one toughness. Oh, nice. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Um. Still need to get rid of that clue gobbler though. Because yeah. he's gonna eat up the clues before we. Oh, get that it. guy. Okay. Well, hopefully, okay, and then I'll do this gate, hopefully. Uh, which is this guy? The future, you find yourself in an unknown place. Large beetle-like creatures swarm over the landscape. You search the charred surroundings to find some central location from which they originate. Observation minus one. Two. No, I will spend a clue. Three, roll one. I'm gonna do it one more time. Ooh. Nope. Wow. Uh, one of the Beatles tries to dominate your mind. Test willpower minus one. Willpower minus one. Three. Yep. Uh, if you fail, you trade bodies with the Beatle temporarily. Gain oh. that lost in time and space Ooh. condition. I don't want to just... Bye bye. <laughs> That sucks. Have a fun trip. Let yep. us know how it is. Hope to see you in the future. Maybe I can just come back anywhere, though. Yeah, yeah. Remove your investigator from the game board. You aren't affected by everything. Instead of resolving an encounter with this card. Okay. So then I just like, we'll wait. Uh, who's next? Uh, that's it. Right? That's it. I yep. did mine. Yeah. Yep. Okay. On two clues. Okay. Then we have an ongoing rumor. Investigators cannot resolve expedition encounters. Oh, is this the one that eats up the things again? As an encounter, investigator on the active expedition space may attempt to uncover secrets lost in time and history. Test observation. If you pass, you may spend clues equal to half. So we can spend two clues, which Mel just threw away like they were nothing, uh, to solve this rumor. And on a reckoning, we'll search the expedition encounter deck for a card that corresponds to the active expedition. Put all the cards in the game box. Then if it's an uh, encounter deck's empty, we lose the game. So it's that same one that could end yeah, the game for us. Which is hard because you need clues and we've spent all our clues. So well, we, we can't resolve expedition fine. encounters. Fine, we don't go there anyway. So just put a rumor token on this and when the reckoning hits, it'll wipe those away. Uh, okay. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless we lead. Does it matter? No, mm -mm. it does not. Okay. I don't have clues for that. Yeah, let's look. Am I near the clues? Not really. Mm, still two more for here. I will take. Yeah, I'll take a boat token, and then I'll just move. Use boat token to go to clue spot. Done. Can I? I can leave the space, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. I think I have to do. Well, because I can't rest there, right? Right. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need to rest. Um... <laughs> uh, I think I need to go down to Sydney. So I'll go here. And yeah. I'll use a train ticket to okay, there. Okay, I was going to say, don't stop in the wilderness. No, no, no. That could be dangerous. And then I'll, I'll rest, which is just one-on-one, -on -one, right? Yep. That is it. Okay. Okay, Charlie. I think he just takes a focus. 
Yeah. And then he tries this again. Okay, so roll the five, five dice. dice. One, two, three, four, five. Mel is a beetle. That's nuts. <laughs> beetle in outer space. <laughs> we got two. Uh, does anyone have a condition? Oh. oh. This is a condition. Then get rid of it. When you gain this card, you may immediately discard one condition, yep. then discard this card. I just don't know, like... I would just follow whatever on the back it says you return. Okay. Like, however it says it, you know? Who are you playing right now? Charlie or... This is Charlie. Okay. There's probably rules for it, but, like, who cares? Okay. Died from the void. The Maybe silhouette of a man towers before you, standing behind a veil of shimmering stars. You hear the being's voice in your mind oh. offering... Do you what, is back? The, what does the card say that you used to discard a condition? Because technically you can't be given that card. Because you're not in the game, right? Oh, you're right. What does it say, though, on it? I'm asking. It says, when you gain this card... You yeah, so you okay, wouldn't be so able I to gain technically, that. Technically, okay. You were unaffected by other game effects and cannot move yeah. or perform actions. Okay, you're right, you're right. Never mind, then. Um, hmm. Did they take a debt? Probably not, eh? I'm just trying to get... I guess we could just cycle this, mm -hmm. but this gives two clues, so couldn't that do something here? Yep. Yeah, give it to me. The two clue one. Yeah. I'll take it because I'm on. A, I'm on this. Uh, oh, no, she just, he didn't roll enough. To no, get, but I can take oh, a debt. Oh. I can take a debt. She said we'll get rid of. And then we can take. We can take this. Mm. It is not worth it. Or I just cycle because I, think I only we got need two the clues though. So uh, yeah, it's probably worth sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Okay, so take a debt. We just gotta get rid of that debt fast before Reckoning hits and kills that. him or something. Okay, so when you gain this card, immediately gain two clues, then discard this card. So... Uh -huh. uh, two gotta, clues? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, because I could go try to deal with this... Uh, oh, well, I only have two observation, actually. Hey, you only need two clues for there, yeah. But you need to pass an observation test on this. Maybe he even takes them, then? He has observation of four. He's well, super closer. far. Uh, one. I'm there, but like he's three. Yeah, he's three. yeah. Maybe a pass. I'll take focus tokens or something. Yeah, we're the and same. then we get. Uh, when you gain this card, immediately choose a space. Each monster on the chosen space loses four health. Oh, that would be helpful mm, for wow. yours. Again, that's four. Okay, I think he's done. I guess he doesn't need to take the focus, but yeah. Actually, no. Can I, like, let's rewind. I don't yeah, need to yeah. focus. Let's take whatever this is. Uh, test influence if you pass this card, this card. Oh, very nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Passed. All right, no debt Sweet. for me. Okay, that, that works. Oh, I mean, he needs to be taking yeah, debts okay. more often. Yeah, I didn't realize that, that was, yeah. Sorry, I will do that wow. more. Okay. Yeah, Charlie MVP, yeah. Okay, what was that? Uh, that was Charlie. Um, I don't do anything on my turn until I encounter. Okay, that's it. And I'm done. Okay, so encounters. Uh, I'm gonna do this clue token thing over here, which is uh, can you just is a C space I assume? Yep. Yeah. The crew is gone, and all of the navigational equipment has been destroyed. You decide to search a nearby island. Observation. Nope. Uh, once per round, I can reroll. Or is that here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Um, so, if you fail, you wait for a rescue become delayed. You can just tilt me down. Mm -hmm. So I'm delayed. And the next. Hey, uh, I'll do the Shanghai one. Uh, the old man offers to make tea for you. You see him mix a strange green powder he calls Tayuk. You may become delayed to wait for it to brew. If you become delayed, the Tayuk seems to heighten all of your senses. Improve one skill of your choice. Probably should do it. This one action just to become undelayed? Like no, it's like your full turn. Yeah. So you're giving up a turn, but you're improving a stat. I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, depends what you're trying to get done, mm -hmm. and... But yeah, you're kind of like still base stats on everything, so I know. if you want to get some stuff done, you might need to bump in something. Okay, I'll do it. I don't know. And what do you want to bump? Well, observation, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Charlie, I think we'll do... There's monsters you should probably try to defeat, but... Yeah, I guess we do the monster. So hopefully... hopefully. Do we, though? Oh, well, there's two... I could try to close the gate. Wait, were we on... Did it go? I don't know. I bumped it. That's uh, what I'm asking. Yeah, no, that's right. But then, did we, we have to... No, that came out that after. That came out after. Oh, okay. Because and then like, the last, one, okay. the the last yeah. one we got was this so one, so we didn't sense. move. Yeah. Okay, so this is Tokyo. Uh, your hotel room is haunted by Yuri. Yuri? Uh, you are terrified as the white-clad woman howls and passes through you. Test willpower. No. If you fail, her lingering presence is a blight on your soul. Lose one sanity and gain a cursed condition. Well, that sucks. Like, no, nothing good on that at all. No, why did I do that? <laughs> that is horrible. All right, and then I'll shuffle that one sec, and then I do this one now for myself. Guide from the void, the silhouette of a man towers before you, standing behind a veil of shimmering stars. You hear the being's voice in your mind, offering an escape from the emptiness. You may gain a dark pack condition to place your investigator token on a space of your choice. If you do not gain a condition, spawn one gate, place your investigator token on that space, and advance the omen by one. Then discard this card. I just need to see the front of the dark packs. Do they kill you? Like, can I try to get rid of it? You can get every one has a way to get mm. rid of it, right? No, it's just the omen. Oh. Or the reckoning. So when die on a one, it's time to fulfill your part of the bargain. Oh yeah. You like. Some of them aren't terrible. The one I had last time wasn't that bad, but the one All right, you I had will... was not great. I will gain a dark pack. Place my investigator token on a space of my choice. Don't you get the travel to gates clue, anyway? Clue, clue, mm -hmm. clue, clue, yeah. clue. All right. Unless you, you're worried that monster is going to gobble it up, then it's a waste. Or you go on the space where I am for that clue, because I think it's further from that oh, monster. Back, back but then it, oh, oh, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, whichever one the monster is not going to grab. Yeah. Okay, because then I can. Okay. One, two, three, oh, dark pack. Yeah, I gotta get it. Yeah. Okay. Dark pack equals equals. I know, I know. I'm sure it's not good, but I'm just gonna hope I don't roll a one. Right? We're gonna hope that. Okay. So Panna check that uh, that is right. The token I bumped is in the right spot. Walk into the past. And <laughs> check it good thing you didn't get lost in time and space <laughs> doing that. I noticed Kyle slightly scoot away from Mel when she took the dark pack. <laughs> See, I want nothing to do with this. Uh, all right. Well, okay. Uh, that was my encounter, so I'm done. Okay. Uh, close. Mm, yep. Okay, it goes to the green. How many green? One. One. Gates. So, Dune, uh, if you could slide that yep. down. Then we spawn two monsters at the green gate. Just... And then we spawn two clues. And, spawn two. and then I gain a blessed condition. One. Because I have the support of the church. Mm -hmm. Five. Okay. That's good. Nice close. And Istanbul. Okay. And then you get a bless. Bless condition, please. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Great. Very nice of you. Bless. There you go. All right. Four, fives, and sixes count success on your test. If you'd get another bless, flip the card. If you gain a curse, discard this card. On reckoning, roll one die. On a one or two, discard the card. Okay. All righty. Who wants to be lead now? Seems to be a good thing to be lead. Charlie. Are you sure? Wait, wasn't oh, there... unless Kyle wants Didn't to Didn't it say something else on that card? Yeah, the lead investigator gets a bless condition. Oh. It's a good one. <laughs> now he's like, I'll take it. And it's going to give you yeah, a curse. Yeah, it's going to be bad. Yeah, <laughs> for the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Nothing bad will happen. Yeah. Just uh, rest a little bit more. Uh, I'm standing. Yep. Okay, Charlie's Charlie. rolling. Uh, but he only hits on five, uh, oh. sixes right now, so let's not do that again by accident. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. You're right. Uh, uh, but how do you get rid of that thing? Reckoning I have to roll. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh, it's the opposite of this, I see. Okay. Um, what else can he do? I mean, he can take a focus, yep, so that potentially good. he... Maybe he can... Uh, take a ticket or... Yeah, we could take a boat ticket so that potentially later we can... 
go somewhere else. Okay, he's done. Um, what am I doing? I'm trying to get this clue. So I'm going to gain a focus and I'm on a city. I could gain a boat token to move later. Okay. Um, actually, do I need to heal? Yeah, nope. We'll heal instead of that boat token. Okay. And if you can stand my investigator up, my turn is finished. Kyle, your interact uh, or encounter, you're doing the Shanghai. Yeah. Shanghai or regular city? What do you want? Well, I guess you could still try to improve your lore, right? That you didn't do yeah, last time. Yeah, which I have not done the three yeah. times that I've had. Oh, yeah. God. So Shanghai, yeah. Shanghai. You break into a warehouse filled with ancient wonders and learn much by studying its contents. Improve your lore. Oh, there you go. You must remain silent to avoid being caught. Test observation. <laughs> Another chance to become delayed. It doesn't really affect you. Yeah. You're good. So you're good. So no delayed. All right. Uh, then it's Charlie. Charlie. Um, Are we trying to close the gate for preventing doom? Yeah, maybe let's try the gate. Um, or maybe. not because he's cursed. Like, what do you think? Oh, yeah. He's yeah, cursed. Only sixes. He's cursed. You're right. Let's not. I let's, don't know. Let's go Tokyo. I don't Tokyo? know. Tokyo? Yeah. Captain Isage Taro of the Imperial Japanese Navy. I'm, I'm so sorry with these names. Takes uh, particular interest in your investigations. You describe the threats that would the world is facing. Test influence minus one. Okay, so four. I only hit on sixes. Um, you succeed. Oh, I didn't yet, but I could. It depends. Uh, one monster of your choice loses three health. You could like could defeat this one that might. I'll move try this focus. Sure. I mean, trying for a six. Uh, nope. Well, nope. Sorry. Those focus tokens. Uh, if you fail, know. he's convinced that you're a dangerous menace. Gain the detained condition. Oh my gosh. Can you re-roll one during an influence test or something? Oh yeah, he can. He can. He can. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Good thing so. I know how to play the game. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So let's kill that monster there, I think. It was three. Three. Oh, three. Do we get this guy? He's going to eat he the clues. He does eat clues, but this guy could potentially, on a one or oh. two die roll, get doom lowered. So, like... Oh, this one, if you defeat him, you gain an artifact. Okay, okay so this guy's so dead. Guy. All right, yeah. easy peasy. <laughs> uh, Dark Young. Okay. Doesn't this count as defeating? No, no, it says during the encounter, combat encounter. Oh, it's very specific. Specific, yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, I knew about that. Okay, uh, and then for mine, I'll do this clue on a city. In your nightmare, the chanting of the cult of the black goat threatens your sanity. Test willpower. Four. Got it. Uh, if you pass, you remember the words when you wake up. Gain this clue. And I'll put it on there. Oh, one more, and we can solve one mystery. Oh my god. Um, if you fail, okay, we don't care about that. Yeah. And that and was you. you. My turn. Where am oh, I? you're on a clue here? Oh, yes. In the city. In the sea. In the sea, you discover that a Pinkerton agent who had escorted a cultist to face trial has been lured into becoming one of the thousand. A cultist monster ambushes you. Oh. If you defeat it, you turn them both over to the police, gain this clue. So I get ambushed by this guy, so there's no um, willpower test. So I just go to strength minus one. So that's five dice, but I'll gain plus three. So that's eight dice. Wow. You're and, the guy to get ambushed. And he just needs one success. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I hit on four, fives, and sixes. <laughs> Let's get him. One, two, okay, that's it. Three. Three? Yep. Oh, yeah, four is two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, boom. I defeat him, send him back, to, or send him to the police. I think you gained the clue then, right? And then I gain the clue, and I'll put that right on here. So at the end of the mythos phase, remind us that we're going to find out our next mystery. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all of us. That's all of us. So now it's mythos. All right, so this goes to blue. There is definitely one blue gate. I can't this see that green. one. Green, so doom uh, down by one. Okay. Okay, then reckoning time oh. on monsters first. And then in these two. Uh, the this clue one? Go gobbler. Yep. Uh, so the closest clue, I think, is 
Uh, oh, now there's one. One, two, three. No, nope, nope, the other two, one. Yep, this one. So doesn't he go there, though? Oh, I didn't. Agreed the Sorry. thing when you do it. Discard the nearest clue and move this monster. Yeah, that's what you switch for. Okay, forward. and then we're, oh yeah, reckoning this, uh, this guy. We're going to spawn a monster again. Uh, if you can pull random, a clue token yeah. and tell Kyle where to put this random monster he's going to pull. Sydney. Sydney down here. And there's not 10 or more monsters on the board yet, one, right? Two, three. Nope. Four, four right? Four, so no. we're not removing Doom. Uh, and then do we have any? Oh, yeah, I have one. Roll a die. Maybe. On a one or two, I lose. Oh, no. Oh, you're not blessed uh, anymore. Yep. Bless is gone. Just like that. That was fast. That's unfortunate. Kyle, do you have any? Nope. Okay. Charlie, he wants to roll a four, five, or six. You got a one. Nope. And then Dark Pact. <laughs> four. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay, spawn a gate. Spawn a gate. We'll go at Istanbul. And if you'll spawn a monster. Wait, I gotta remember this cultist is gonna. Is this guy? Oh, the riot. Or resolving the strength test. You may attempt. Oh, Charlie could uh, buy them off, maybe, but I could probably just fight him. That's instable. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's green. And then each of us here may discard any number of item possessions. Then he loses one health for each item that he keeps. Uh, keep you understand? Mm -hmm. Keeping my one. One, two, three, four I have. Ooh. Could kill you. Hmm. Well. Mm -hmm. Lose two. I better heal quick. Uh, actually, may spend any number of health. Or sanity, then recover an equal number of health or sanity. Interesting. Okay. And I don't have any items. All right. Uh, so this is cleared. We'll put those in your little discard pile. Uh, all right. Our next mystery. Kyle can make this one because I picked last one. It was decent. It wasn't terrible. Uh, when this card enters place, spawn the Yeb Epic Monster on Space 19. Take a look at this guy. So he has a spawn effect. When this epic monster spawns, spawn two monsters on this space. Toughness oh. is equal to six. Two more monsters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Well, we'll be at eight monsters. So we just have to defeat him. Oh, we're at eight total monsters? Yes. Yeah. Uh oh, that's trouble. That is trouble. So the elder thing, when this monster spawn, move it to Antarctica. I don't know if that overrides what happens, but probably. Thanks. And Shagoth. Monster recovers all health. Oh, oh my god. Alright, so uh yeah, killing that monster. It looks like that's what I need to be doing. Okay, that's well, my whether I there. live or die, I'm doing it. Oh. Start the party. What? Oh, Kyle's like one away easy. too, so he can start there while you're. Uh, is, those are three wills. Uh, yeah, maybe he shouldn't. Maybe this uh, might help us though. Maybe. Yeah. I just, I'm cursed. That's the problem. Yeah. But I'll just get a focus so that hopefully I can reroll. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because we need to clear monsters, like, or we just lose the game. I'll, I'll go mm -hmm. here and try Not to lose, kill these but guys. We'll, our doom will start flying down, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, who's first? Me? Sure. Doesn't matter. You mm -hmm. want to be lead? Yeah. Well, it does. It could. Mm, go here. Be the worst thing ever. Go here, and then I'll just mm, rest, or do I take one of those tokens? We roll. <laughs> well, this one shouldn't hurt my will, right? Yeah, but remember, like, Mythos events could just, like, mm. deal out go, sanity oh. loss. Like, it's so random. I'll rest. You take more health too? 
Yeah, you yeah, can. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. I don't know if you're about to fight monsters, know. right? But I'm not really fighting them. Well, you don't have to fight these ones, but you might fight others. Oh, you're going to do this, Yeah, too, right? I'm going to. That's what I was thinking. Do I yeah, take yeah. a focus token instead of mm. resting? Your call. But you could lose that whole investigator if you go too weak yeah, against, yeah, like, you fail the test and it's like, oh, well, you just lose to sanity. You're dead. You could also just not do that and try and do this action to get the puzzle box. No. You're no, calling. I, I mean, wait. then you can get an artifact when you rest, possibly. Yeah, the artifact could be huge. Could be huge. Could be garbage. Who knows? They're all good, though. All right, I'm done. Okay. Done? Okay, then... Charlie, I think he... Does he try? I'm not going to roll fixes, four of them. Are... They don't have a condition? Oh, I do. Now I do. I mean, you could just try with him, because even if he misses, we could just keep cycling items. Yeah. One, two, I don't know. Three, four, five. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I got one. one and you can re-roll re one. Re-roll one. Okay, I got one. I could take a condition. Or a debt, because I still have an action that I can use to get rid of it, which then I could, then someone can take the puzzle box, but as we say, we cycle it, or I take this sanctuary, give it here to get rid of this dark pack condition, so I possibly don't die. Yeah, yeah, that's huge, if okay. you're allowed to get rid of it. Yeah, when you gain this card, you may immediately discard one condition. Just says condition, no yep. specific type? Nope. Wow. Yeah. yeah, just do it. Okay, so then I just got to gain a debt. And then, oh, I could have also given it to him to not be cursed. I think that's fine. Maybe I could, I, the odds of rolling is good. Let's get rid of this. I don't want to die. Yeah, yeah. I think so we're going to get rid of this than that, dark pack. But who knows? Then we're going to replace with Silver Twilight Ritual. When you gain oh, wow. the start immediately, retreat doom by one. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. And then, do you want to roll for this one? He's going to roll four, five. Can you roll five dice? I'm going to shuffle this. See and is the reroll on influence ah. test once per round? No. Oh. You may reroll one die when resolving an influence test. Okay. We're good. If you pass, I discard this card. Nice. So I just keep taking a debt and get rid of it. Okay. He's done. Um, I'm going to take her, I'm going to take a focus, and I'm going to move into here, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, move me to this one, I guess. Yeah, I'll take it, so... Be a long trip. They're gonna stay here to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna try that and fight the monster, try to get all that done. But uh, we'll see if I can get through the monster first. Okay, uh, and then I'll take a focus token. Okay, uh, that's all of us. Yep. Kyle, where you're doing Tokyo? To feed a monster. Uh, hopefully. Wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah or Tokyo. the gate. Yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo. Or regular city. Tokyo. Tokyo. You find a gem bearing the symbol of an emerald llama. In its uh, facets, you see the image of some horrible beast. Suddenly, the creature is right next to you. Choose one non-epic monster on any space and move it to your space, then encounter it. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, what's an easy one, though? Uh, this mm -hmm. one's only will. This one is will to... Uh, but Mel could fight I both could those fight and both defeat these. them, maybe? Yep. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I Ideally, one at least. I don't know about this one because I'm only rolling one die, but I have uh, two rerolls. Let's go to the nearest clue. Oh, this is the clue guy. Yeah. Probably have a better chance of defeating this guy. Or there's the cultist, even. He's just oh, one. Right. He's just strength. Which guy? This guy. This one? Like, I, I think can it's... get him on the way by. As, oh, what if, about this guy? Oh, this guy, maybe. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Before solving the test. Oh, you could attempt to get rid of it that way with influence. You could. It's like a. You can try both. And then if you don't beat it, Charlie's here to interact with it also, and he could get rid of it. Yeah. Wow. But the Good clue point. gobbler is like the I would that's the one no, I would No, but grab. he has to be on the space. What? It needs to be on the space for Charlie to interact with it on his turn. It will well because you're moving something to our space. Yeah, yeah. But if I get rid of the clue guy, what's the big, what's the deal? No, oh, oh you want this guy? Why not? Sure. Yeah. Whatever one you want. 
I mean, we don't need clues kind of okay. right now, sure. but they're always Not good. I'm encountering it. Okay. Yep. So, so willpower test. Straight up will. No negatives. Good. Got it. Got it. Strength minus two. Yep. But then plus two. Weapon. They do one damage and you lose one health. Just put on. I mean, Charlie can try. He doesn't really roll much, but. Yeah. Oh, and he's Well, you'll so get to mind. encounter it. Oh, yeah, he can encounter it. Oh, yeah. So he now, has to encounter Yeah, it. he has to, but he's cursed, so he probably won't kill it. Okay. So now Charlie's testing willpower. Yep. Willpower of two. Nope. So, so we lose one sanity. Okay. And then you're doing strength minus two. So just one. Nope. Yeah, being cursed, I didn't think I would. Okay. okay, and then you lose two health. Oh, I lose. I lost one already. Sorry. Oh, okay. Thought, yeah, I, he hits yeah. for two. He hits for two. Okay, he's done. Uh, okay, here. Let's do this one first. If you pass, this, this is cool. Okay, you defeat this. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this one first. So it is willpower minus one. Uh, so three. One. Pass the test. I need to reroll one more because I have to kill it with willpower. So. Uh, okay, let's just. Aim. Got it, okay. This one's dead. And then this one is willpower of four. Green bones leather tray. Oh my gosh, I fail. fail. The chip so theory one? Two. Here, Mel, you can try in this. Oh, is that what they're saying? Uh, yeah. Be better for me? Yeah, Pana, Pana says it's, uh, you know, that's where your luck will change if you're not using the cup. Nope. No, no. no. And then Unfortunately. You Disproven. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, but... whatever. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> My luck is not in it. I should have probably just done this, but I'm worried about clearing some monsters. Okay. And then it is mine. Yep. So I have to deal with this monster. Uh, willpower of four. Uh, okay, so I lose one sanity. And then strength minus one. Eight dice. No more dark pack anymore. I got rid of it with the uh, thing theory. Oh, wow. What was this guy here? It probably has to go back in there. Oh, he's got to go in the bag. I killed it. Oh, okay. uh, so I succeeded and I killed it. Boom. Okay. Okay. Uh, this thing. I guess there. So I test observations. That's so annoying. Oh, Got wow. It. Yes. Oh, my God. I'll spend clues equal to half investigators to solve the rumor. Boom, boom. Those are discarded. Rumor is gone. This is gone. And everything's back to normal. Okay. For now. <laughs> sure. Done. Uh, mythos? Yeah. Red, red gates. No red. Looking for red gate. No okay. red gate. Spawn a red gate or a gate because we have no red gates to spawn monsters at. Buenos, Brandy, Buenos Aires. And we spawn a monster at Buenos Aires and then spawn two clues. Got a cultist. Okay. And two clues. We got six here. Okay. That's good. And nine. Nine is. Okay. And then the lead investigator gains a debt condition. He <laughs> told you they were bad. The debt are not the worst. Already has a debt condition. He resolved the reckoning on that, treating all die rolls as ones. So you'd have to pay your debt. Oh wow. Oh, I wanted to get rid of that curse. It's not on there, eh? That sucks. Yeah. All right. Alrighty. Oh, you want to still be lead? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, I'm trying to defeat this guy, get an artifact. Hang out there, so focus tokens, tickets. No, we'll trading, trade. trading with Charlie. Two focus tickets. Is it, yeah, what can I trade with Charlie? Just whatever items he's got. Oh, no, you probably don't want that. Uh, Why? Well, can I do this? I might just do this. Yeah, whatever. Do you want to do your action? Yeah, I'll do my uh, cat action. Thing. Cat burglar. Roll one die. Okay. There's no rerolls oh, yeah, on this. Oh, you want the puzzle. It's not a skill test. Just roll one die. Well, it's still a skill. On a five oh. or six? Nope. nope. No skill for you. On a one, discard the card. Wow. Uh, and then my elves take a focus. Okay, Charlie. Well, I'm just going to roll five. So he's almost dead. Whoa, we got two, everyone. We got two, so I could take a debt. Can you reroll one, too? Yeah, I can reroll one. You're right. No, but I think I take a debt, so I have four. Okay. Yeah. And then... Uh, if you're on a city police, investigators on your space roll one additional die when resolving tests, except other world. That could help for this. Or when you gain this card, immediately choose a space. Each monster on the chosen space loses four health. Oh, no, we take that. Okay, so this one's dead. I just gotta take a debt. And then this one is two away. That's good. Okay. And then we're replacing it with some fine clothes. Each right. six you roll when performing an acquire act that counts as two successes. Oh, that would have been helpful mm -hmm. while I'm cursed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then I'll roll for my debt. So I roll five. Five. Got it. That's gone. That we use. Okay. He is done. What is she doing? Hmm. I can defeat that monster. I'm going to have to hope that Charlie can or something. Unless. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, that gate's come up. Both gates are coming up. Right? Yeah, so, but unless I move down here, I can probably beat the, because the cultist is just one strength, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not minus. I roll two dice. I could move and then gain a focus and worry about this one instead. Yeah, let's do that. So one, and then we'll spend a boat token to move to here and then we'll gain a focus. We'll try to close this gate instead. This one's coming up next. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you. Uh, and then I will gain a boat ticket. Okay. Oh, shit. Done. Kyle, All are right. you going to fight? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it. Well, you can beat it because yeah. I can't and I don't want to die. You get an artifact if you can. Yeah. So willpower test. Got a focus token. Got it. All right. Strength minus two. Plus two. Four. You said you get two successes. Come on, man. So you lose two health. Well, I mean, I could re roll one so I don't oh, okay. lose my health. Maybe. Might lose Charlie okay. here. Okay. I just need to be able to roll one. So I lose one half? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Terrible. That's All right. So Charlie, willpower test. Willpower is two. Uh, nope. And he gets hurt. Loses one sanity. One. And then strength minus two. So I roll one. So he's for sure getting hit by at least one, but probably Unless, two. Yeah. Nope. Yep. yep, he's dead. Charlie's dead. Yep. Oh. Yep. <sighs> Wait, wasn't there? Oh, you didn't get that card where we reroll an extra. No, yeah, no. That's not a test anyway. Oh, yeah, this stays with him. Yeah, those are tests. That was a test? Those, yeah, you're doing oh. a willpower test, a strength test, yeah. Alrighty. Well. 
He died by health, if you will. Yeah, I got oh, it. you got it. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll pick someone else in a minute. And yeah, then... the end of the mythos phase. He's like the smallest guy and can't even kill him. And then this one. Uh, so he is just uh, our, our strength yeah, regular. Yeah, strength minus one. Sorry, I'm just trying to do... I'm sorry, strength That's minus okay. one. Oh, strength minus one. So I only roll one. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's confident for a bit. Now we're all getting, like, eaten alive here. Okay, re-roll. Oops. And that monster really messed everything up. So she takes loses one health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not working out. You couldn't even beat a cultist. <laughs> I roll one die. You couldn't beat a cultist. But I'm not supposed to be fighting the monsters. But I thought you ignore mm -hmm. monsters on your location or something. Was your I can? Ability. Yeah, I can. But we have to clear them as well. So I'm trying at the same time. I got one yeah, monster. But don't kill yourself doing it then. No, I still have. Okay. Health, but it's just frustrating. Uh, next, what's next? Me? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I also interact with occultists, right? Yep. Uh, so strength minus one, eight. Still could fail though. Only one. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Beat him. Boom. Then I will encounter a regular city. Yeah. The syndicate is engaged in a gang war with local thugs and is under intense legal scrutiny. You try to trade your political clout for assistance, thus influence. There's only two. Not really great on that stuff. Oh, it passed. Uh, gain a service asset from the reserve. Or one random one for this the This is the service that we have in the reserve. You can check. Oh, uh, when I mean, you get this card and you retreat. Yeah, sure. And we don't have our discard and doom goes back one. We Beautiful. don't have our guy anymore that can get that easily. So we're replacing it with a delivery service. Uh, when you gain this card, immediately give any number of item possessions to another investigator on any space. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay, I'm done mine. That's it. Mythos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spawn two clues, and here's our other rumor card. So this one, uh, oh, advance the omen by one. Uh, this is an encounter investigator on space seven. So if you put a rumor token on space, oh, you're spawning mm -hmm. clues. Yep, sorry, sorry. 11 and three. All the clues are over on that side of the board. Three, yeah. and then a rumor on seven. Yep. Okay, oh, I'm right beside that. And as an encounter, an investigator on space seven, May attempt to find the stra uh, strangers based on his observations of the stars. So it's an observation test. If he passes, he convinces la policia to remove these strangers. He may spend clues equal to half, uh, so that's two, to solve the rumor. Otherwise, every reckoning, we're going to be advancing the omen, and that will cause doom based yeah, on yeah. gates. So that's, like, really bad. Not good. Uh, so put that card beside that so we know what's up. So, yeah, that means that's, like, urgent. All right. Anybody have any recommendations for who we should take for our... Um, neutral or like our shared character. So what were the defeating monster tests? They were like, uh, if, if it, it was, uh, was well, it? it might be a person who's not even near there. Yeah, a lot of them were lore, I think. Let's take a look in the discard pile. Lore, willpower, willpower, lore, uh, lore, lore, lore. The lore was actually the majority, or just random punishment things or weird things. So maybe do we take Jacqueline Fine? She is a 4 3 for lore. Three. Can she close a gate? Where does she spawn actually, too? Oh, she spawns phase five on this side. Uh, but can that, it, we need to know. So, how far is that? Like, could she get over here and start doing the Tokyo thing? It starts right here. Because you're not really two, equipped. Oh, you got willpower. Three. But the lore three is only spaces. two. That's the problem. Three spaces. Uh, Jim. Jim starts on space six. What was this guy's card that he dropped? What was it? Personal assistant. Just give an extra influence. Oh, I mean, that could help for doing that. So influence and willpower, I said, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can also get some clues. I think we take her. Sure. Yep. And, and then what she start with? She starts with flesh ward spell. Oh no, she's one of those. She doesn't have to use it. Those spellcaster crazies. And a clue. She starts with a clue as well, which could be helpful. Yeah. Knowing our luck, our next mystery won't need clues. Okay. 
and then you may trade any number of clues to the investigators on any space. And then once per round, which is good, so she can give them there. And yeah. then once per round, when an other investigator gains a non-common condition, you may look at the back of the card and gain one clue. She can gain clues for us, which is going to be helpful. And what did I say? She starts at five. five. Stacy says, don't take Silas. He's missing his shirt. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'll probably Sailor. Aletta likes that. Hey, Sailor. <laughs> um, was that all I had to do? Uh, I did everything for whatever yeah, card you had. You just and put yourself on the board and get okay. your starting stuff. And you got, oh, your health and sanity. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Seven, Who wants to be lead? Is that still going to be you? Sure, it doesn't matter. I don't think. The one action I could pick that up, which is just gain an influence by his card, right? Uh, I think you have to do it. No, that would be an encounter. Yeah, You're you have to do an encounter, that. and you encounter. have to do this, which is going to be an influence. But that's only if you get through this monster. Oh, yeah. So I would get ready for the monster fight again, because the way oh, it's going you is do. not do that. good. Oh, I don't know why it's not. Well, no, I can kill him now. I just take one health. Action. You and one monster in space lose one health. Yeah, that's not a okay. bad idea. Okay, boom. Do that. But the only problem with doing it that way... You give up on this. Oh, yeah, you don't get the artifact that No way. artifact, Kyle. No. Aren't I defeating him? Not during a combat encounter. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're cheesing it, man. You got to do it the natural way. Which in the boxing, in the, in the octagon. That's where I lose Wait, will. In a pay-per-view. So then do a re Oh, you can't rest. No, I can't rest. But that's where I lose. That's only one. You're going to focus. You gain a ticket. You could... Delete it. You could try to acquire assets. Roll on your. I don't know. Can you acquire assets with monsters in your space? Oh, I don't know. I don't think you okay. can. I'll get, a, I'll get a focus and then I'll try and get rid of Let's this check. debt. I'm trying to get rid of this debt. Oh, yeah. Assets you can't do okay. with monsters in your space. Only three and four. Or rest. Yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. Got it. What did you just do? My debt is paid. Oh, your debt action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get rid of that now, just in case. Okay. Uh, then we go to our new fourth player. Mm-hmm. Jacqueline Fine, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, What's she, she doing? have to walk through that monster. Is that a problem? Mm, I don't think so. Yes. She's in a city. She could gain a ticket, right? And then mm -hmm. you can do a little more movement. Go right to that clue. Yeah, I'm trying to get her to Tokyo, but... Yeah, Tokyo. I could. Well, do we need the clue? I don't think we really need clues right now. We need to kill monsters, so we but this thing we got to preclude. Oh, but the this, rumor. Oh, the, yeah, as an action. Right oh, she, she can give this. Already. She can give this to, uh, as an action. You may trade any number of clues with an investigator on any space. So she can. But give what's them the rumor thing again? Because that's like super important. Yeah, it's, she's gonna do it. She has three observation. Oh, she has three observation as well. But you need clues though. She yeah, but any she, clues. yeah, but how she, many clues? Two. Oh, but okay. she can give a clue to her, and oh. she can do this clue before doing that. Oh, I see. Uh, right? Rumors block stuff is what somebody left in a comment. Oh. Yeah, we were messed that up in like the first episode, I think. Um, okay, then I do. I yeah, know what I do. I think, I think so, but let's check. It definitely blocks something we did on. I remember someone leaving a comment. It, you just reminded me. Uh, let's check in the rules reference on rumors. Rumor tokens are placed on the game board by Mythos cards. During an encounter phase, investigators on a space containing a rumor token, he may encounter it by resolving the encounter effect on the Mythos card. When a rumor mythos card, oh, you know what it was? The one that gobbled up artifacts stopped us from interacting with those, I think, those tokens, and maybe we did one. Oh. Maybe, maybe we okay. did. I don't know. But yeah, this doesn't say you have to. Okay, so then if that's the case, then I'm going to do Yeah, that. never mind. It was just that one that we had, which we just had, actually. She's going to trade. Yeah, yeah. I think it was specific to that one. My bad, my bad. And then she's going to move here. <laughs> yeah. And maybe she can start damaging that monster and then keep moving. She has some health and sanity. That's fine. Okay. And then this one is going to gain a focus. Or does she rest? Nope, she can't rest there. She's going to gain a focus and move here. Okay. And hopefully I can get that clue. And then next time I can do it. Okay. Rob. Uh, I will... take a boat ticket right mm -hmm. and, and then i can go one spend a boat uh two spend a boat three yeah that's a great play uh, i don't know you all enjoying the party over here i'm like low on health and sanity so like this monster could smoke me 
before I even get to kill it, but YOLO? Mm -hmm. uh, I should have probably rested instead, but I want to I want to see the next thing so we can start working on it. Yeah, because we're going to start going up mm -hmm. by a lot when we advance. All right. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Kyle's first. Defeat the monster, Kyle. You know Thought what to then. do. Done this a couple times. Third time right? the charm. Way too many times. <laughs> way too yeah, way too You're like, I'll take this guy. He'll probably be easy. Oh, sure. There, okay. So you definitely pass the willpower. That's what you need that to That was what you were scared of. Oh, no. oh, yeah. One is all you needed. One. But you still lose a health unless you have a reroll or something. I do have a reroll. I don't want. I don't know. It's it, rerolls yeah. don't work in this game, so. <laughs> Oh, wait, I think oh, that was, and you flipped well, it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you could reroll it. I, I'm gonna say that was like a yeah, cock die because you, you kind of like hit it and wait for it to stop. Yeah, yeah you kind of like flipped it in a roll. Oh, there, oh, there we see? go. See, I told you. So you block it, you kill it, and give him an artifact. Wasn't it how many? How many strength was it though? Was it three or two? Two. Oh, it was two. Here's your artifact. A cursed yeah. sphere. So you defeat it in a combat encounter and get an artifact here. Uh, oh, this actually goes in oh. this bag actually. I don't know if that's good. Man. Is yeah, it bad? Good. No, it's good. Okay. Hold it up. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah, oh okay. First sphere item, a magical. Gain plus two to all skills. <laughs> That's huge. What are you talking about? Wow. Oh, but on. Don't die, man. Rest yeah, up. But it has a reckoning. Yeah, roll one die on a one or two, gain a curse condition. But you don't lose this, though. Yeah, you don't lose but that. But you could gain another curse condition, and then you'd have to flip the curse condition, which could be like yeah, death yeah. or something, probably. Okay, we'll just. Focus on the positive yep. right now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Use exactly. it plus two but before you, you lose it. Technically, you can do another encounter. You can either try to close the gate or you can try to. Or defeat, defeat monsters monster. or interact with Charlie to get his, I, I do a test uh, on his card and get an item. That gate's coming up next, right? Yep. Yeah. So let's try the gate again. Now you have plus two on your skills. You might get this. Plus two on everything. You discover a fetid creature with wings and webbed feet. The beast is strange, like something from your wildest dreams. You may spend one clue to resolve the pass effect. Oh, you don't have. Oh. If you do not spend the clue, resolve to fail. Oh my what god. The heck is this? Terrible. Wow. Keep clues. The creature is terrifying, but if you can keep your calm, you'll be able to overpower it. Test willpower. The willpower of six. Okay, you can do that. Oh, you still have a chance to close it here, though. Okay, you can so do it. So it's like the game knows it can screw you, but you still have a chance to get out of it. Six. Okay, I like this. This is a cool one. Go golf. Uh, that's, that's not a successful roll. Did you? Wow. No. That's how did you? I don't know how that happened. So lose a health. Yeah. Oh no. And you don't close the gate. Damn. Okay, Terrible. Oh, for sure you had it. I'm not used to rolling six. <laughs> not used to rolling six. <laughs> I needed the tray. That's oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's excuses, problem. excuses. All right, Jacqueline is gonna first just turn and fight the monster. Oh, yeah. So powers three. The odds. What do I have here? Oh, yeah. Uh, one. That's fine. So she loses one. And then strength is only one. Got it. But she... Oh, yeah, she got it. Okay, nice. She doesn't kill it because she doesn't have enough dice to kill it. And then me, I will go for a clue on a city here, if you will. Uh, you intercept the delivery of a package containing a ritual dagger and confront the intended recipient. A cultist monster ambushes you. If you defeat it, you find evidence in his home that the new branch of the cult of the black goat is being established here. Gain this clue. So, one. it's ambushing you, so you're doing a strength minus one and trying to find one success, otherwise one. you need to help. Got I got it. it. Wow. Yes. So, okay. gain the clue. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So I can't do this as an encounter, so I have to do that next turn. Okay. Done. You. Okay, uh, here's where I could die. Fighting this monster, willpower minus one. So I have plus one, so it's a three. If I miss completely, he is going to kill me. You're not, you're not. He's got okay. one more roll. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so I'm down to one. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, strength minus two. So seven dice. I do have one reroll on a test, but I'll save it for this one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, only one. Oh, force count? Oh, force count. No, he's not blessed nope. anymore. Uh, so that sucks. I will reroll one during once per round. Wow. Yeah. You still have the focus token, too. Yeah. yeah, true. But I'll still do the yeah, three roll. Yeah. If I don't get a success, I'm dead. And he's alive still. And someone else got to get him. Focus token? Yeah, I told you. YOLO. This is, like, not the best. Can you get around in the cup? You did that last time. Oh, look what you did it. I won't say yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. Look at that one and one. Oh, my God. Uh, but I do kill it. So if, awesome. at the end of the Mythos phase, uh, this guy is dead. Oh, my God, this game. Wow. Yep. Lucy's, Lucy's not, not going to live much longer. Let's uh, go to a massage therapist after these games, I swear. So now I could encounter the wilderness space. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have to? No. Oh. Do I? I what mean, do you think it could do? Her strength is so high, I don't want to lose that. I know. I know, I know. Okay, so I just won't <laughs> do any... I won't do any encounter. Yep, alright. Yeah. That's it, yep. Uh, and then she probably dies right here. Oh, don't say, <laughs> don't say. Yep, right there. She does. Yep, this is the kind of stupid cards in this game that are just like, yep. Yep. Okay, so anyways, yeah, fun. Those are fun effects. Uh, so, uh, we... Uh, I have one blue here, gates. and I think that one's supposed to two. Yep. two, one, two, two doom. we're at ten. Okay, uh, reckoning stuff on monsters. Uh, no, no. Uh, that's a cultist? Oh, yeah. So now the cultist says you're gonna spawn one goat spawn, monster, or a dark young. Uh, so let's do goat spawn. So this monster is going to spawn there, and the cultist is going to go back in the bag. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this one. You could uh, take a dark pack to defeat, uh, discard a monster from any space. But I don't think you can use that to discard epic monsters. Okay. Oops. And, yep. No, we, That's all the monsters. Do our card? Uh, and then we spawn a monster. Uh, I'll give you a random space. Well, uh, sorry, 21. 21. Just, uh, 20. Right above season. Okay. Um, and then your conditions and yeah, items and things. I gotta roll a die. Don't, don't want a one or two. Don't want a one or two. Don't want a one or two. Yes, Good. three. Perfect. Okay. And then uh, spawn a gate. Rome. And then we're going to spawn a monster. monster there. One, two, three. We only check it after he spawns, yeah. which there isn't ten yet. Okay. These not so good ones. And Haunting Nightmares. Each investigator loses two sanity and gains a madness condition unless he spends a clue, which I don't have a clue to spend, unfortunately. I need mm -hmm. to get rid of a rumor, so... I need a madness? So, so Lucy is toast. I don't know if madness is there or not. Oh, okay, so I just wanted to see what it was, so I knew where I was looking. So, madness first. First one. Is you. Hallucinations, then great. I will lose two sanity and gain a madness. Madness, and then two sanity. I don't want to spend that clue because I need it for the rumor. And gain a madness. And then do you need one as well? Oh, you're dead. Yeah, well, I'm dead. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> All right, let's find out our mystery before I pick my dude. Don't have to, when do we do that? Mm. Uh, right now we're doing oh, it. Right yeah, so we've solved the second mystery. We just need to solve one more and we win. Okay. So you can throw that guy away. Please tell me you didn't get that one. Okay. Uh, when this card enters play, spawn the Nug epic monster in the Am on the Amazon. Okay. I'll find him. So we got to defeat another epic monster oh. without Lucy. Well. He looks red. Red yeah. with uh, tentacles. He's got black. Black tentacle yeah, hands things and in let's the, see him. In the Amazon. Oh, I'm not fighting him. No. So toughness is again six, like the other one. Uh hits a little less on the willpower, but the strength is harder, minus two. And he's four to beat, so like you're gonna get hurt a lot fighting this guy. And then uh if a reckoning hits, you spawn a ghoul monster on his space. Wow. There's only two in the game. Um, they're both set aside here, so... Oh, I'm so sorry. We need to also, this rumor has one to advance Omen by one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so green, how many greens are there? One, two, two, mm -hmm. one, two. Would that have been, um, that would have been before spawning whichever gate you spawned? Do you I remember which wrong. one? Oh, okay, yeah. wrong. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we're down to set eight doom? Yeah. Okay, all right, so. Where is it again? Antarctica? No, or Amazon? Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Oh, over there. So I don't know if that Pass helps. Pass me the characters. Oh, uh, right here. If that helps you, that. Does anyone spawn on the Amazon? And are they fighters? Well, it depends. Do you want to pick up your or... stuff first? And then. Uh... Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so which is over here? Oh. Lola starts with a Behringer and can improve a skill of her choice. Oh, yeah. She only has two strength. Where does she start? What space? Tokyo. Leo. Hired muscle asset. Leo's a little higher on the fighting stuff. Yeah, it's all about fighting now and, yeah. and survival, like high health and like Trish Scarborough starts with a 45 item, but somebody has that, right? That's the one we just stole from that person last time? Yep. Yeah. Mm, maybe that's the play. Central Russia, Space 16. Uh, that's okay. Damn. It's kind of far, but... Oh, um, was, uh, yeah, three. It's, a, it's like we're all going to have to fight, I'm sure. It's like that's the win condition, but you can't like forget about gates and monsters or all that stuff will run out. Um, hmm. I think it's too willpower, though. Ooh, can you flip over that epic monster so we can reference it? Ugh. Yeah, so you'd only be rolling Yeah. One. It sucks. Well, you could... She's got, we gotta get I, items, but we lost Charlie. So like, can't we trade could, this item? I can trade this item with If somebody can pick up this, this is each six you roll when performing... Oh, never mind. Acquiring assets. Can you, you can trade magical items if you want. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my plus two doll stats. I take a spell. Person. No. Are you gonna come this way then? I have to. Mm -hmm. but... Like along the way. Yeah, I mean that gate's gonna come up again. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, maybe staying there and trying one more time. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking Leo, I think. Can you tell me the hired muscle uh, assets all about there? I think it's the one that gives him like plus yeah. something and then like absorbs damage. And plus one strength, maybe reroll one die. Oh, hired muscle, that's not what I was thinking. Oh, was. sorry. No, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. I thought it was something else. Yeah, there is. A bodyguard or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah about. there is. Because he gets this. Um, and I mean, he has like okay stats to start, but like. I kind of want to get something else. Where does he start on the board, sir? Uh, Buenos Aires. Oh, so he's not far. Yeah, but like... Uh, there's nothing here really that will help you. But he gets an ally card too? What's his ability? He gets an ally card. Uh, well, the one I like is if he's on a wilderness space, investigators on your space roll one additional eye when resolving tests, which mm -hmm. is a wilderness space where the final monster fight is, and that's what made me take this guy. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like he has a 4-4 four, four on these tests fighting that guy. Plus one on this, so he's kind of like he's a 5-4, which is like not as good as Lily was, but I mean, for a guy who just started, that's not bad. Um, he's 6-6, six and six, so he can at least survive maybe a couple rounds fighting that thing. And uh, he could test influence, but it's only two. If he passes, he gains an ally asset of your choice from the reserve or the discard pile. So like cheats getting around, um, having to be in cities and searching for uh, assets. I need something to heal me. Uh, yeah, so, um, that's, that's it. So, who's lead investigator? I don't really want to be. Um, she can be. She's pretty full. I need something to heal me. It sucks. Just rest up here, and then, uh, so maybe go though. here and try to do this encounter, so you could get that stuff, maybe. If you care. Oh, maybe you don't care as much. But you could trade it to someone else. Because you're the mm -hmm. closest one. I mean, I'm not that... Far. Oh, yeah, I kind of am. Where are you? I'm okay. Buenos Aires bottom. Yeah, so it's like come here, then up here. It's like a lot. When the boss oh. is right there, I might as well go and start, start fighting it. 
Yeah, I'm just going to go run this guy into it. If he dies, he dies. But I'm going to try to put some damage on that monster. Again, there's the defeat monster thing here, which could yeah, add yeah. damage to it. Could help us help us fight it too, right? But yeah. So you Actually, could do you uh, could do work from here. I I can gain a I can gain a um, tr uh, bolt token when there's a monster there. Yes, uh, right. I think I, I just feel like you can. Feel like I can because I can get to Tokyo. Yes. And city she's spaces only. Okay, so then I will take a boat token. Then I will move one. To spending the boat token, and I'll stop there so I can try to defeat a monster or worry about that gate, even. Yeah. So she's oh, yeah. that one that, boat to yeah, hit. exactly. Okay, she's done. Uh, uh, is blue on my space too? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. She's going to stay here to do this, oh, so yeah. I'm going to take a focus and I'm going to rest. Oh, my God. And then when I rest, I can do my amnesia. Um, Roll one die. On a five or a six, discard, discard. One. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, focus token, and I'll just move to the Amazon with Leo. Focus token. Move to the Amazon? Yep, sorry. Okay. We'll rest. Take focus token. All right. So. Okay. Jacqueline. Uh, she is going to do the gate in Tokyo. She was first? Yes. Oh, I see. So we're already on to encounters. I get I'm sorry. It. Yeah. Uh, this one. So lore minus one. Lore minus one. Three. Got it. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot to roll one die. Uh, that rest thing. Oh. That doesn't. Mm, oh. Yeah, okay. Roll one die. Yeah, that's fine. You need know, five or six to get yeah, there, yeah. right? I was looking for uh, So the audience applauds your performance. Curtain falls. Close the gate. Close the gate. Ah, oh, sorry. Yep. Nice. Okay. Uh, you consider sticking around for the second show in hopes of picking up details you missed the first time. You may become delayed to gain two clues. No, thank you. Uh, who's next? Uh, she's going to do this as an encounter an investigator on your space on space seven may attempt to find the strange space. Okay. Uh, so I'm doing a observation test of three. If I pass, spend two clues. Pass. Spend two clues. And the rumor okay. is gone. Oh, I'm so sorry. We got rid of two rumors in one game. Okay. That nice. must be a first. <laughs> yeah. okay. Wow. All right, she's done. Uh, what's next? Yours. This Leo. Uh, okay, so Leo is encountering the monster. Oh yeah, you want that over there? So we're doing willpower minus one. Um, is three, but then if I'm on wilderness, investigation on your space roll one additional diamond resolving test. So it is. I'm rolling three dice. Range, range, range. Mm -hmm. and he's got two. Mental power on me. Uh, so I lose one. Okay, and then strength minus two, so three, four, plus an additional is five, but minus two, I'm only rolling three dice. What's that? Okay, and I can reroll one during uh, strength test. And then I can reroll one with a focus token. Yes. Nice. Wow. Three damage out of yes. six. That's great. I, I got it. I'm on that. That's very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna run into this guy with everything I have. Uh, all right. That's uh, me. I'll do the Tokyo. Tokyo. You may become delayed to explore submerged pyramids off the coast of Okinawa. Uh, if you do, you discover ancient writing that claims to harm one's enemies. One monster of your choice on any space loses three health, oh. and we win the game. And we win. Only yeah. if you want to become delayed, Kyle. I, I don't know. If you're if you don't yeah, have to. I don't have to. You don't have okay. to. We can't force yeah, you. I'll become delayed. Are you sure? I think so. Okay, delay. You want we to pull? Uh. Maybe in the band to find out, <laughs> should we? <laughs> oh man. Kyle, All right. you just won us the game. Well, we gotta well, deal three damage to that monster. Oh no, we actually have to survive till the end. Oh no. Oh, we still, still have to survive. We still have to survive. 
Are you okay. sure you want to do this? I think so. Okay. I think, I think so. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's next? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we have to make it to mythos. the end of the mythos phase. Oh, that's right now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought there was more, there was much more no, happening. No. Uh, okay, so we're at blue gates. How many? One on my side. One. one. Yeah, just one. Just one. Just one one. Doom. We're down to seven. Okay, spawning monsters. Two monsters at every blue gate. Just this one. Cult is. Two of them. One more, one more. Oh. Not that it matters because we're not doing reckoning, so he won't check if there's ten. And we're spawning uh, two clues. Spawn two clues. Shanghai. And then the lead investigator tests influence oh. and gains a number of clues equal to its test oh. result. Influence of Super two. Super important. You better do this. Why can I Come get on. a good one? One. I okay. get one clue. Great. And then that's the end of the mythos phase. And we check this and it says, at the end of the mythos phase, if the Nug epic monster has been defeated, solve the mystery. That's the third mystery. And then on the great old ancient guy here, uh, it says when three mysteries have been solved, investigators win the game. Yay. Team and we solve those three work. for those who care at home. Okay. Uh, now I want to show you the one that I read earlier. I didn't read them all, but I just read one and was like, oh my God. Uh, there is this one. Hunt, hunt, hunting the thousand. Okay, when a non-epic monster is defeated, okay, so we're defeating monsters all over the place. We're doing it with Tokyo effects, we're fighting, okay? The active investigator may spend two clues to place that monster on this card, okay? Two clues to put the monster on the card. And I was like, okay, that's not too bad. At the end of the mythos phase, if the total toughness of all monsters on this card is equal to or greater than twice investigators, so in our case, we're playing with force, we need eight total toughness, to solve the mystery. So the problem there is what I see would happen is we're fighting monsters, we're defeating monsters, but if you don't have the two clues at the right time, so if Charlie's just sitting there firing off monsters with Tokyo effects, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. never has the clues, none of those can get put on here. And then we're trying to run around the board, get clues, but then the clue gatherers maybe aren't the ones fighting monsters because only the active investigator can spend the two clues. So like, I was worried this would happen and we would get in trouble, like well, maybe stuck. But that's as long as we the active had investigator to... has the two clues. Yeah, we just would have had to fine. focus more on clues before fighting. Yeah, that's Which what I'm saying. A and the and then if we're, okay, but if you're focused on clues and you're not fighting yet, then what happens? This stuff starts happening because you're not taking care yeah, of monsters. Well, I think you'd have to. I was worried that that kind of combo would start happening and we would struggle because of the characters we had and like, mm. and like I the think... people who were getting clues weren't the ones that were fighting. Right. So it's like, yeah. uh... Yeah. I was I think, worried about that one. It's not that bad when you read it, you're like, okay, that like we could do that. But like what happens if you're only defeating monsters like cultists with one toughness? Yeah, I don't think you would. You're gonna have to do that eight times. Yeah, I wouldn't wait for clues on that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I would wait for like three So four. you have to line up having two clues, defeating a big monster then? Yeah. So the person who's got the clues is so happens to be look what happened to you with a three toughness monster. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You took you eight <laughs> turns to defeat it. You didn't have any clues. <laughs> So yeah. I was worried if that came up, yeah. it would lock us. Like we'd yeah, be struggling. Yeah. Like we'd have to like try to get to other investigators, trade clues. But meanwhile, no one's closing gates and all that. Well, we I just read it as like, oh my god, that's gonna be like too specific. But there are other bad ones. There's um, uh, hour of the moon lens. So when this card enters play, place a mystery token on London. As an encounter, investigators on London may watch the ritual that transforms the worshippers of Shub into Goat Spawn. Uh, a ghost spawn monster ambushes him if he defeats it, and goat spawn is this one. So if you defeat it, uh, you may spend two clues to put an Eldritch token on this card. Very similar, except for you don't have to be like hunting on the monster. It'll come to you, you just go to London. But the same thing, you have to have two clues to put an Eldritch token, but it's only half. So you only have to do it twice. Mm. Way more manageable, but when I read this and I read that, I was like, they are not equal. Like, one is way harder than the other, I think. Because um, this guy's not that bad. It's only two damage, right? And then the other one was um, this one. They're like freaking stories. Um, when this card enters play, place one Elders token on each of the following wilderness spaces. 4, 10, 21, and Tunguska. And I think that's why Alan was recommending, like, the wilderness thing. Because the couple oh. of these are very focused on wilderness. And the one, first one we had was moved all the clues to wilderness. Oh, you're wilderness. You get that extra oh, yeah. die. 
A yeah. wilderness. Okay. Remember we didn't know what yeah. yeah. we were talking about. I okay. realized that when I was reading him, I was like, oh, okay, this is probably one of the wilderness guys he's talking about. Yeah, I just got it right now. Again, Alan, we're sorry. We don't know the game well enough and like uh, who, who we're looking for. Uh, as an encounter, an investigator on a space containing an Elder's token may attempt to determine the ritual's purpose with observation. If he passes, he may spend two clues to place that Elder's token on this card. At the end of the Mythos phase, if Elder's tokens on this card are equal to half, so only two, you discard all of them and. and and them from the game board, so kind of cool. Like it's like I like this one when it's like kind of puts an adventure out there. You got to kind of go to these places and, and do things. I think that's neat. But yeah, we just got the two epic monster ones. But yeah, definitely Tokyo was the key for sure. Yeah. By using Tokyo effects, getting yeah. rid of monsters all over the place, dealing yeah. damage all over the place. The one mistake that I was worried was when you brought that monster here. Mm -hmm. And Charlie was forced to keep interacting with it. I was like, oh my god, we're gonna lose Charlie. I knew right away. I was like, if Kyle can't defeat this monster fast, Charlie's forced to interact with it. I should have left. It's a small guy, though. It seemed like, uh. I know. I it know. seemed, I was like, you're you don't know what you're gonna roll. Yeah. We're all good. Yeah, you don't know what you're gonna roll. Yeah, I should have left. Yeah. That's what I, my bad. Yeah. But. That was, that was, that, I was like, oh my god, it's all gonna fall apart right here. Uh, because if we had Charlie when I spawned out too, he could have got me an item that might have helped fight mm -hmm. that guy. Like, of course, that Tokyo thing worked out, but yeah, because there's some cool things here. I know. No, I never got to use my cat burglar. To oh, get well, you the tried, box. but yeah, don't yeah. know what was in the box. Yeah, what's in the box? We'll never know. But yeah. So now here's the thing, though. We won the, today, which is a great way to end it. We probably did something it. completely wrong and cheated. <laughs> if you're watching later, drop comments down below for all the things we did completely wrong to cheat. But we were playing on easy, just like we were the last two times. Yeah. Uh, but we now have three games under our belt, basically. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is that or we have two games under our belt, basically, coming into this. Yeah, that um, we've played more, so like we recently. understand. Or the fourth investigator maybe balanced things out slightly, mm -hmm. right? Because I think that definitely did help. Actually, you know what really was the huge thing? Was Coach Allen. Yes, Allen. Coach MVP. Allen. Yeah, if I had a bucket of Gatorade right now, I'd pour it all over your head because we just won the championship. Yeah. Woo! Hashtag, uh, thanks, Allen. Yes, thank you for helping us like <laughs> realize monster fighting was more serious. The Tokyo thing was serious. Um, yeah, these tips, great tips. Uh, they definitely, I think, helped us a lot. And like focusing on the weapons and the spells and that kind of stuff. We didn't really do the spells too much, but the weapons, like, yeah, that definitely helped a lot. But thank you, thank you for the tips for sure. Yeah, this game we actually got stuff from the reserve. Whereas like last game, I think you we got like always, two cards. Yeah, you don't yeah. always need to do it because like there's always that 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 once you understand that like investigators are gonna die and it's okay, you start getting worried about buying them things and getting yeah. them things and spending all this time, and then they lose it. And then you gotta have investigators if you want to get it back. They gotta like run across the board, pass some tests, all this stuff to get it back. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So it's like you start devaluing the assets. Like, hmm, are they really that good? Well, it was a joke. Even uh, Jacko said, like, build up your character just so it can die. Yeah, right? but that's part of the game. Is yeah. like you just hope to push your luck. Like, get a few things and then use them for a few turns before the game rips them away. Like, it'll either rip your items away from you. It'll hit you, it'll throw damage on you, you know, like the monsters will come after you, whatever it is. Like, e even the best statted character, you can get, like, all the plus two stats, you can get all this stuff beefed up. It doesn't matter. Like, all it takes is a Mythos card to go, all investigators lose three sanity, and, like, what? I'm dead now? Like, yeah. what? Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't control that? And that's stuff I'm not really a fan of. That that kind of game design is, like, uh, those those things in a game is, like, lazy it's cheesy and it's just really not fun like when you have no chance like you're not even getting to roll a die like let, let me roll a die on those that says if you hit a six it doesn't happen but every other number still hits you i wouldn't be as mad at it as like just everyone loses i know it's balancing on the card like it's usually a card that's not doing other bad things to you as much so they put that on there to balance it out and it is teaching you like never go too low on your health or sanity yeah be Don't careful don't forget about that rest action or those healing items there or, or any of that stuff. Like I know what it's it's in there for to like make sure you're you're managing that stuff too and keeping the slowing you down. Because if you go too fast and you're low on sanity, low on health, obviously like something could just happen or you die. So, but just like not the most fun way to do it. Kind of feels cheese. But I guess it's part of the whole push your luck thing, so it makes sense. Yeah. 
So glad you don't have to schedule an appointment with your therapist now. Uh, Rob still may have to right after all this Arkham yeah. stuff. I don't know. And we still have this weekend. Yeah, we're not done with Arkham. Uh, yeah. We have scenarios seven and eight to do in our finale of the campaign for Innsmouth Conspiracy for Arkham Horror the Living Card Game this weekend. So if you want to join us for that, go. You have time to go watch all the other episodes to catch up. Uh, check out the playlist section on the channel if you want to see us play through that blind. Uh, that's been fun. That's been fun. Yeah. Um, but that's Elder Tour. Like, I, I am glad I finally got it back to the table. I'm glad we tried the focus token thing. I definitely appreciate the focus token. Now knowing about resource tokens, that would just be just that much better to have something else to do on your turn when you're like, I'm staying in my location. Uh, I'll take a boat ticket, I guess. Like, maybe I need this later. <laughs> maybe, like, I'll take one focus token. Maybe it'll reroll for me. Maybe it's just a big waste of time. But I like the idea of resource tokens. Uh, I appreciate that tip. I don't know if that'll is enough to make me go, oh, I need to play it again now and try it with that. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get it back to the table since we played it that first time and it left a bad taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I thought, okay, add expansion stuff in. Might kind of spice it up a bit, but... Have your thoughts changed? No. No? Okay. It's still just like Arkham Horror pandemic mm -hmm. craziness. It feels very like... Still feels very, like, even though Arkham Horror 3rd Edition is still the same kind of game, something about that game, I don't know, I just think it's better. It's just more refined, it's like, uh, it's, I don't know, it's just the better version of this. And I understand that one came out many years later, so it learned from what this did and its expansions did and all that stuff. But I just like that game. Maybe I just like the whole idea that it's like, feels more thematic because it's zoomed in. So you're actually in cities and towns and locations doing stuff, kind of like Mansion of Madness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're in a specific town or a specific mansion. You know, you're meeting these characters and stuff. This, you're just flying around the world and like reading stuff on cards that has like no meaning. It's like one-liners. Like, you met random dude in police station. Random dude says do test. Random dude gives you maybe item. Or monster comes out of wall and eats you. Like... It, it's the, I don't know. It's a little cheesy, but I know Arkham Horror Third Edition is kind of like that too. But uh, yeah, I just I don't know because we have Arkham Horror Third Edition. I'd probably you play that. that. Yeah, I would play this over Pandemic any day because mm. I like okay. this theme on it rather than just like Pandemic, Rant, like yeah, it's... old and boring and done kind of. You know, mm -hmm. not the legacies. Those like definitely are another another stratosphere compared yeah, to. Yeah, don't count those. Yeah, but... yeah, I'm not counting those. I'm just saying basic. Pandemic, which is very similar to this, uh, but I still would pick Arkham Horror 3rd Edition to play if I wanted Arkham-themed Pandemic, I would play that. Mm -hmm. And I know some people are like, how dare you? Elder Tour is way better. It's like, uh, I don't know, this one's showing its age. And again, maybe if I got into it in 2013 and, and bought expansions and went along with everyone else, I would have a more soft spot for it. But coming late to the party, other games that I pay, play from this era, it still just doesn't... Um, I, I, I'm not looking through any rose-colored glasses, like, you know, I'm looking at it for what it is and uh, what I've played otherwise, and I just, it's okay. It's not the greatest. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. It's just silly fun. It's goofy. I don't know. I'd rather play Arkham Horror LCG, I'd rather play Mansion of Madness, and I'd rather play Arkham Horror 3rd Edition. If I wanted this, uh, the theme, if I wanted, if I was craving the theme, I would play one of those games. But that's just me. That's my own personal taste. But I know what happens. A lot of people get games like these and they like, I bet a lot of people who love this game, they got it when it was new. And that's when they came into the hobby because that was a hot time. That's when we came into the hobby. My mm -hmm. first Gen Con, we were only in the hobby for a year. And this came out at my first Gen Con I was at. This was the big, ooh, look what FFG is doing. Yeah. And I, I was like, I, I don't care about that IP, I don't care about that game, it's not for me, but I remember people being so excited about it then, and time went on, and I just wasn't really into these type of games, and then uh, here I am playing it, and it's like, uh, no, I don't know, but I can see how if it was one of your first games, you got a whole, like, imagine, this goes up to eight players, okay, like, mm -hmm. our game we got into at this time was from FFG2, Game of Thrones, a board game, second edition, right, we've played, like, seven players of that, six, yeah. five, tournaments uh we've i play that game like 50 times uh, all different types of players new players of the hobby experienced players i've had some epic sessions of that game mm -hmm. and as a special place in our heart because that ip we connected with that because the show and everything uh that was also like our first big game in the hobby 
So at that time, that's my game. And like some people might look at that and go, Rob, that game is like horrible or the worst rule book or I hate that game or my group quit board gaming because of it. Like you're crazy. So maybe I have some rose colored glasses I'm looking through on that one because that one's connected to our entry point of the hobby. Um, so I can kind of relate to that. And that's why I assume this game is to some people who maybe got into the hobby around that time. Because that was a big time in the early 2010s where a lot of people were finding the hobby um, and it was blowing up and FFG was making some good stuff. So I think that some people played that with their big groups like we did with Game of Thrones and they had, they had like a blast with this and they got really attached to it and uh, expansions just kept coming, you know? But uh, I don't know, man. Well, I think you're right on that because in our yeah. first one that we played, so like two weeks back, um, a lot of people kept coming in and saying that they love this game. This is one of the first games they yeah. played. This is they, this is what got them into board gaming. So as you said, yeah. that yeah, yeah. yeah, like a little bit nostalgic to that. Yeah. yeah. Like it's a fine game. Like it's yeah. it's fine. Like it's good, but it's not great in my opinion. And yes, maybe if you bought all the expansions, then you could say it's great. But I at some point it just gets too bloated, and already there's like too many decks to shuffle, too many token piles to make and card uh, sorry card decks to shuffle small and big and then the token stacks and all that stuff it's like i don't know it's a big big game but it's it's like one of those games you do get a whole bunch of people together i think is the right way to play it mm -hmm. um because it does go quick around the table if you know what you're doing yeah, yeah. so I like i don't know could this be more fun if we're playing it five six seven eight players maybe that's the mm -hmm. way i would change my opinion of, of all this chaos and we're running all over the place but I would be worried if if not everyone at the table knew what they were doing because it could get real confusing with uh, like even more monsters are surging, more gates are opening, more clues are spawning. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. That that scares me. I don't want to play that game when it's that much stuff on the board. Well, and if we can get that many people together, yeah, I know. Uh, but I'm just thinking. I'm trying to put my myself like trying to play devil's advocate, look from the other side, be more open minded yeah, yeah. to see like what is it that like people see but then there's so many people that just love co-op games like pandemic mm -hmm. and that spawned all the co-op hotness so like if everyone loves pandemic and they're making legacy games and, and and more pandemics there's a thousand pandemic expansions and there's so many games that spawned off pandemic that do that pandemic system like this one that people love so like i can see why there's fans for this game and just love it people who just love that pandemic system right yep so it's like yeah, people like a little, you know, having a couple little powers and being a little asymmetric with your powers, but like, it's just chaos, like chaos, chaos, chaos. And uh, that's what this is. For me, I think this game is fun. And I, like, like Rob said, I don't think that this is a game that I'm like, oh my gosh, I really want to play this on my day off. Like this is, would be what I would choose. However, if we were like at a convention and someone pulled this out and said, we're going to have a big game of this, do you want to play? I'd be like, yeah, that'll be fun. Right? That's kind of how I look at this game. Yeah, that could be fun. I just don't know if I want to spend that much time at my convention playing well, I that. Mean, that's what I mean. When in that there's kind other of... newer games that are sure, like, sure, but Ooh, I want, I've never played that. I want to try that. Scenario Wait, where it's I know what you mean. Yeah. Not something that I'm going to necessarily be like, I really want to play this tonight, like out of all the other options that we have. But if that's what people were playing at a game night or whatever and said, do you want to play? I'd be like, yeah, so sure, Kyle, out of this, Kyle, or Mansion of Madness 2nd Edition, what would you rather play? Yeah, Mansion Madness. <laughs> Mansion Madness? Yeah. Same, yeah. Same, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with putting this on the shelf. And yep. the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got our win, right? Stack in front of it. Yeah, yeah. What's this game back there? I, <laughs> get, I gave it four tries, and, like, it's fine. It definitely grew a little more on me, and I see the appeal. Um, But, yeah, it's just... i just rather spend time on other games. Doesn't mean I hate it. But like it's just that just a little too far on the luck side in the random chaos stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I know if you play it more and more, I know you can start to figure out character combos. You get used to the items. You start knowing what's in some of the decks. You know, like we have no idea what's on the back of all the dark pack cards. Oh, like, no. I, I'm still going blind with that stuff. Oh, yeah, but like, but I've died. Lose three sanity. Okay. Yeah, see, like, there's so many effects, like, you never know what's going to happen. But if you play the game enough, you start getting used to, like, avoiding those kind of traps. You get used to some of the Mythos cards. You know what some of the locations might do to you. It could change. Like, I could get more competitive with it, but it's still just a little too much random chaos. And that's what it's supposed to do, but it's just too much for my liking. Yeah. Um. But yeah, not a bad game. Not a bad game. I I'm joking a lot when I'm hating on it, but I always will try to pick on games, too, that, like, have just that 
horrible luck mitigation, like the horrible just re-roll a die. It's like no. Yeah. And and I do want to just uh reiterate one thing. On the last episode, I think it was, I addressed this already in my last uh final girl playthrough, but at the end of like the last stream, when I was saying I'll practice for this episode by rolling dice. And remember you were talking oh. about the cup and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're joking. Yeah. But I was joking, like, that's the only way you can prepare for this game. I, yeah. But it's not true. Like, I was just joking. But people are saying, Rob, you play Final Girl, and I've been streaming Final Girl in between episodes of this on the channel. You can find it. And people are like, you can just practice your dice rolling in that game, Rob. Fives and sixes are also successes. Oh. The difference in that game, though, and I we already ended the stream, and I saw people putting in the chat, so I didn't respond to it in the last episode of this. But I talked about it in the last Final Girl stream, but I'll talk about it quickly here. In Final Girl, though, on the dice, threes and fours have the ability to turn them into successes, kind of like Mansion of Madness 2nd Edition, where you can spend an investigation token mm -hmm. to turn the little uh, magnifying glass into a success. Right. In Final Girl, you can just, out of your hand, discard two cards to turn a three or four into a success. Oh. So it's hmm. not just spend a reroll token, but there is cards in that game where you could just play the one card to reroll one die. Okay. Or on that same card, you could instead spend two money kind of in the game that you used to buy more cards to your hand. You could spend two money to re-roll all dice in the test. Oh. So even their re-roll token, quote unquote, that re-roll card is, gives you more choice, decision points, a little more control, more fun. Right. Uh, and the whole ability on a three or four, imagine this game on three or fours, you could discard one item or spend one action or two actions, become delayed to turn a three or four to a success. Imagine you had some, I don't know what the proper game balance cost is, but imagine you gave the player actual control to make more decisions and have those tasty, juicy decision points that are in the best of games. The more decision points on a player, the more in control, the more fun they have making choices and seeing reactions. Mm -hmm. But when it's just randomness all out of their control, that's not fun for everybody, right? Um, so I feel like this game could benefit from a little more of that, but it's not comparable. So people are like, oh, Rob, you're hating on this duck dice game, but like, look at Final Girl and you're playing that and having fun. It's like, no, no, there's some key differences to the dice or luck or whatever you want to call it. Dice mitigation, luck mitigation, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember Hoplomachus had a problem where I ripped on that game for the same issue. Um, that was like, it's one big fault is like, yeah, I wish I could just spend some kind of resource or action or something in the game to help when you're like really just have the worst role ever and some designers will tell you the game's balanced for having those big misses because you have those epic hits yeah but, but it's like i don't know man i don't know i agree but let me spend something really expensive then that could screw up my whole playthrough just to make it happen because not every Skill test is equal. Some are much more important to pass than others. Mm -hmm. So let me pay a deathly call. Let me take a dark pact to turn one die into a success if I really need to. And if I take a second one, I'm dead or something, you know, like or whatever it is, you know, something like that. Yeah. The one thing that I think is weird in this game is that the clue tokens you reroll one die, the focus tokens you also reroll one die. Like I feel like oh, if yeah. you're using a clue, you should be able to reroll your whole <laughs> yeah. dice because the amount of. No, no. I feel like clues should be changing a die to a success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, exactly. Success, kind of yeah. like Mansion Madness style. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe you can't change a one, for example, but everything else you could something it just seems so weird that for an action i can just get a focus token and i can reroll but it takes a lot more energy i guess to get a clue but it works the same i just feel like yeah so obviously panda would throw off the balance you'd have to i'm not a game designer so like i don't know where to do the balance but obviously you could tweak the you'd have to re-engineer the whole game right mm -hmm. you'd have to make every monster stronger make mysteries harder all this stuff harder to balance out that ability to spend some resource or just make the resource cost so much, it's like selling your soul to pass this test. But just those, at least once per game, you get this out of a super feels bad skill test. Yeah. You know, like let's say you fill up three tests in a row and then you're at the, finally at this epic final showdown and you're like, if I don't, if I don't pass this, this character's dead. Wouldn't it be nice to just like, take some kind of bad suffering payment to like pass that one test to stay alive, but you're still probably going to die anyway. 
because of the dark pact you took or the curse you took or whatever it is, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there's there's ways of doing it. Uh, and don't, you're taking me too literal, like, oh, if you do this, it's not balanced. Like, I'm just throwing random stuff out there. Like, you could totally work it out and, and fix the game. Um, but this game doesn't need to be fixed. Like, a new edition would fix it, which Arkham Horror 3rd Edition is a new edition yeah. uh, of this game, I guess. But, um, yeah, that's just what I'm saying. So when I'm comparing, when I complain about a game that has the way the dice mechanics work in this and the, the re-roll mechanics work in this, why I hate them and why it sucks and why I will always choose to play other games is because there's games that exist that are similar to this and have better luck mitigation that are baked into the system. Doesn't make those games easier. It just gives the player better choices and the whole game's balanced around that. So if you're going to add that into this game, you have to balance the whole game around it. It's not just an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm saying you don't need to change this game. I'm okay if this game stays the way it is because it makes people happy who like these kind of games. And I can just go play the millions of other games that don't do it and that I like. I'm not saying this game needs to be fixed and changed so that I like it. I, there's way too many games to play to care. Like, I'm just saying if it had that, this is why I choose not to like these games. Because I have to make some choice. I can't like every game and I can't play every game, right? So, um... Yeah, just like when people say, oh, I hate apps in my games, they should all die. It's like, no, they should exist for people who like those kind of games. And so you can play your games and they can play those games. It's let's make games for everybody. So, yeah, it just I'm just explaining what makes it bad to me, like doesn't please my tastes is because I've tasted other games that do things another way. But yeah. I think you're consistent in the way you feel about these type of games. Yeah. Because you always mention if there's yeah. not much dice mitigation. Like, I, it goes all the way back to playing, like, games in the 80s as a child. And when we played, like, Risk in yeah. the, like, late two, 2000s, uh, like, 2008 or nine or whatever, we played Risk. Yeah. And that dice rolling in Risk, and I was like, what? This is garbage. It, it, it scared me away from the hobby. And when I found Game of Thrones, the board game, second edition, when I read that you could remove all luck from it by taking out those um tides of battle cards so there is no random like you're playing a card it's fully under your control but there are cards to add like pluses and minuses to combat tests after the fact um but when i read that it's like all the strategy everything's under your control other than like what players are doing at the table and there's no just like let's get into combat roll a die oh you rolled higher oh you win <laughs> you know well, maybe i'll roll better next time <laughs> you know there's none of that in the game that drew me into the hobby that literally made me drive to find that game and buy it and i was super passionate about it because i was like wait games aren't just full of random dice rolling and out of your control with no mitigation i have to show this to everybody <laughs> there is games out there that aren't like the ones we played as little kids that are horrible designs that are just like people are still playing to this day, you know, like there's better games out there in my opinion, no? So that they, like that drove me to the hobby to know that somebody out there was publishing and designing games that weren't just roll dice. Did you get a success or not? Oh, you didn't move back two spaces, <laughs> slide down the ladder, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so th that that's what I, that's what got me interested. So I, I like that that stuff exists. So. I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah. Uh, Stacy says, do you like Cthulhu Death May Die more or less than this? Uh, more. More. Yeah, I didn't even think to compare that one. But that's like Simon just ripping off all the Arkham games, really, right? Yeah. Um, I like it more as well. <laughs> I do like it more, but uh, yeah. It's still full of miniatures and probably costs too much, but uh, it's still fun. <laughs> still fun. Yeah, I do, I do like Cthulhu Death May Die more. Rob's oopa loopa voice is hilarious. I know. It oopa is. loopa loopa <laughs> dee doo. Uh, maybe you're right, but in this game, you only need one success. Mm, not in combat. Yeah, not I mean, there's combat. different times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Different skill tests, it's like uh, there could be different rules and things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Any we other won. thoughts? I'm just happy that we finished yeah. it off on a win. <laughs> don't, don't mean to pull, pull the wind out of your sails or whatever that saying is, but we were playing on easy mode. Hey, it easy is matter. still hard because we, we lost twice already. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care what mode we played on. So, I, we so won. It's an investigators win. Yeah, we did win. 
But again, we're playing on easy. There is standard mode. And even in then, I would be bitching more that I need better luck mitigation and dice mitigation. And like, I don't need to win every single time. I just need every turn I have to feel meaningful. That's what I need in my games. I don't care if I lose at the end, but the, the ride better be fun and it better be feel rewarding every time it goes all the way around the table and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting when it gets to my turn. If it doesn't feel good when it gets to my turn and I have to wait all the way again and again and again, the game sucks, okay? That's when, that's what I, I don't want to play those kind of games. So that's kind of where, where it goes down to. But there is standard difficulty and there's even a harder difficulty than that where we remove all the easy Mythos cards and we put the hard ones in. Yeah, so just throwing that out there. No, thank you. So, yes, there's people out there, like they're saying they win, like, you know, it took them 10 times to even win a game, but like, was it on easy? Was it on standard? Was it on hard? I don't know, but this game's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting cocky, but Mel was like, yeah, we won. I'm like, no. Ugh. Asterisk. Asterisk. There's no asterisk, right? We won. Uh, we won. We won. It's it that investors matter. win the game. Yeah, yeah. Sure. That's, I mean, that's all I hear. <laughs> so that's all that matters. Yes, yes. So forever we can go around and be like, yeah, go to won. conventions, like, hey, <laughs> you ever won a game of Elder Tour? No? Yeah, you suck. I don't say I'm, I'm a champion yeah, yeah. or anything. We need t shirts. We need no. like WWE <laughs> championship belts to yeah. say, like, I won Elder Tour. Like, yeah. no. Shub champion. We beat Shub. <laughs> But if someone says, have you ever played this game in one? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've yeah. earned it. <laughs> Next time I go to like FFG headquarters, there better be like fireworks and like lights and like a carpet, you know, and like I get a drive from the airport up, you know, like this guy actually beat the game. Like he's the special treatment. Yep. <laughs> it took four times. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> Mel of the Beetle. Never forget. I yeah. know, right? I can't believe that. That's the first time I've been lost in space and time. It sucks. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thanks for, for hanging out. Uh, thanks for putting on my trolling on this game. But uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, so like I said, this weekend... Oh, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Final Girl. Um, oh, continuing our Hans the Butcher movie anthology, whatever, learning all about that killer. And... Um, on the weekend, Arkham Horror Living Card Game, uh, Final Girl next week, the finale of that series. And then after that, I'm not sure. I don't know what we're playing next week. Yeah, I don't so know. I thought you weren't going to be here. And then I was like, oh, I don't have to worry about what we're playing with Kyle. But Kyle will be here. So now we got to figure it out. But it won't be this. It won't be this. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in November. So it doesn't have to be a horror themed game, but could be. Could be. It's the same week. Yeah. Two days after. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll what, figure it out. Second? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure out what to play, but uh yeah. I mean we'll play it on stream. But it could be something that we like play off stream to learn, but ah, we'll figure it out. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for supporting the channel. And we hope to see you in the next streams. Bye-bye.